Welcome to the Pulse Check Podcast. Today we are we we are welcomed by some some new and some familiar faces. Obviously, y'all already know Jay God, the goat over here. Jay God, Jay God, you know. Hey, we got Isaac over here, my boy. You know Isaac. And this man right here. Oh, well, hold on, this way. This what this man right here, Mr. Hunter. Hunter, this guy. Hunter, introduce yourself, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I play Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Oh man! All right, this guy Hunter has got to be one of the most out of pocket people I've ever met in my life. But I love that about him. I love it. All right, <laughs> all right, How? boys. Hunter, I just got. I told Isaac. I said, just go through Hunter's tw tweets and replies, and you'll know what I mean. Okay. Uh, and, <laughs> well, you know what's the craziest thing that I see is like I'll get a notification, and I don't have notifications on for a lot of people. I have them on for like Charlie Intel, whatever. And then obviously you'll bait Charlie Intel to a tweet or something. <laughs> and it's on like, you're, you're replying to a Call of Duty tweet from like three years ago. And yes. it's like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, and then like, I don't know. Like a thousand people like the tweet. I'm like, why? It's just like me being silly. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, listen, boys, today's podcast. Uh, we, this, the, a lot of people have been, I'm not even kidding, have been waiting for this podcast. They're, Right now, I can say this is arguably one of the worst states the game has ever been in. And I think it's time we kind of air that out and talk about it. So, um, boys, the state, the, the, today's podcast is going to be on the state of Warzone and genuinely what we need to bring it back. And even, and even if it's possible to bring it back, right? So, I, I'm going to tell you guys all this right now. Do not, hey. Do not hold back, boys. Obviously, respectfully, <laughs> we're all we're all you know good enough human beings to do it respectfully. But do not hold back. Let loose, you know. Um, Jay God, if you want to take it away, I know you just did a thirty minute video on the state of Warzone, so I mean you got hey, you got a lot, lot to longer. Go. I had to cut out stuff, but <laughs> um, no. But I'll partially disagree with the fact that it's the worst state. I okay. think like they did improve. Obviously, the plating thing. We got another map. Those are improvements compared to how it was uh, uh, before season two. Uh, uh, but the problem now with season two is that like, there's no like hope factor for the game currently. Like I think before season two, everyone had this I idea late, uh, like, you know, this perfect scenario where a rebirth style map's gonna drop and instantly it's gonna fix all the problems. Um, they're gonna fix this. We didn't even know about the the plating thing, but then they ended up going and fixing that. And that ended up feeling good. And it was enough for people to get like really caught up and blindsided to the fact that maybe they didn't fix anything else and were super hyped. But then that wears off really quick. And then now we're in kind of a bad state because there is no hope factor. What do we have to look forward to? We don't we know that if they're gonna make a new map, we think ranked is coming, but like they say confirmed, but what the hell does that even mean? Um, you know, <laughs> they're dealing with hackers in every match for the pro players, whether they're getting string snipe or that's casually happening. And then you have um, not really much communication other than, oh, well, we'll add these modes in at the mid season and you guys will have them for a couple weeks. Like, that's not enough. Yeah. yeah. But All right, Hunter, okay, I guess uh, the question I'm going to ask you guys is, is right now just to start this whole thing off is... Is Warzone 2 savable? Yes or no? Jay God, then Hunter, then Isaac. I think no. Uh, they got to wait for a new title. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I think they lost too many players, but who knows? Hunter, what I you think, think it's savable because they have a blueprint of Warzone 1 to look at already. So I don't think it's like that far in a dump. And also competitive has proven in multiplayer to be hugely effective because I haven't personally played multiplayer that much since the game came out until ranked play, but I literally played ranked play for like a week straight, 10 hours a day. And I think if Warzone 2 can somehow come up with a system to avoid hackers, like whether it's time played in game, level, or whatever verification you need for ranked, I think it's savable. And like I said, there's a blueprint to follow with the last game and they're slowly implementing that blueprint into the new game. So I think it's still savable. Okay. Isaac, uh, I think it's still savable. Like like Hunter's kind of mentioning, like I think this is the biggest opportunity that we're going to see. I think the largest resurgence, no pun intended, of players coming back to the community is with ranked. Hmm. But like I kind of mentioned something about it, where I think that might be the last chance a lot of people give it, right? Because a lot of people's frustration has been the the lack of skill gap and the lack of outplay. And if there's 
any game mode where you say, okay, right, screw the public bait, like the, the, the casual base, the lowest common denominator, we are purely going for experts of the game here. Let's craft a game mode for that and cater to that player. Make pubs, whatever SBMM, bomb drone mess you want to make it. But like, let's <laughs> really, really try to do something different yeah. that we have the template for in Warzone 1. Yeah, I want to step in on that, actually, because I remember something when he's talking about like catering to the hardcore people like playing Warzone. Caldera's Iron Trials mode during like the Terminator event was literally the best Caldera I have ever played in my life. Like I played Caldera <laughs> all day. I don't think I've ever played Caldera all day until Iron Trials release where it was competitive focused. Yeah. Like, I think mm -hmm. that game mode was literally amazing. Like yeah. absolutely amazing. The reward was great. It was like a cool cybernetic camo for 20 wins. I think that's why it's still savable. If the ranked mode is good, then it could fall like Caldera where people but, enjoy the ranked mode. But I'm super worried. I don't want to step on any toes here that they're going to tiptoe into it, right? It seems like anytime we're going for change with Call of Duty, it's like, well, let's sprinkle. Maybe just see if we could just just send it, which is why I'm really glad because in the developer meeting, if, if you know that we were involved in, obviously NDAs and all this stuff are closed. They were saying that we're not going to have sprinting while plating, but it's going to feel faster. It's going to feel yeah. a little bit quicker. And it's like they may have made a last minute change because it is a full sprint. When you were sprinting and plating, you are moving. It's like yeah. full tax sprint. And so it seemed like there was a shift there internally where they said like, you know what, screw it. Just give the boys what they want. And I really hope they do that with competitive where they don't tiptoe around. It's like, all right, first impression. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so crazy. I'll, I'll tell you guys my thought process and, and what I think, right? Um, it's it, Maybe a couple people might disagree with me, but I think this game is quite literally on its last string. bro. Like it's hanging on by a finger off a cliff. And there's already so many people who already are like, no, I'm done with the game. I'm not going to give it another chance. Like I'm done. Right. There's obviously if you bring something back, people will come. So here is my thing. I think right now there needs to be something drastic happening in order for this game to get back or even just to get to stable numbers. Uh, I was watching Jay God's stream right now where he was looking at, you know, numbers of, of stream streaming slash like search terms for Warzone and how popular the game was. And even to get it to where, you know, it's decently consistent like other games, there needs to be something drastic. And I'm gonna be honest, even with ranked coming out, I genuinely don't think it's gonna be enough. I, unless the only way I see it is if they go 100% into ranked and they get the community involved and then that will also cater towards the casuals because the sweats, right, won't be as much into there. So, but even then, man, I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck 50. I think th the devs need to do a drastic change to the game because obviously we all see that whatever they're doing now, who's ever in charge at the moment, it's the results are not showing. I don't care whether bots say they like it or not, whether streamers, the pros say they like it or not. It doesn't matter. What what matters is the facts. With those, that's what matters is the hard facts, the numbers, and they are down bad. Like, yeah. you know, the numbers are down bad. So in my opinion, they got to do something completely drastic. I'm talking about they have to suck up their pride and be like, you know what? Like, you know, this was not the route that we should have taken. Let's revert things back and let's start fresh. Are they going to do that? I don't think so, but, but that right now is, is, was, you know, well, that's my opinion on that. Um, I mean, I mean, you said a big <laughs> word there, pride. Yep, and yep. I don't, I don't want to take too many swings at the devs. And it's always so tough for me because there's so yeah. many talented developers on the ground floor that are making a beautiful game, yep. but creatively it's at the top. I always like to, I always like to mention that there's, you know, leads at the top that kind of, yeah, when I guess when I say devs, guys, just know for anybody watching, everybody here in this podcast, when I say devs, there is like the devs who are, I guess, in, like on the on the job working on the team. And then there's the higher ups. At the end of the day, the guys, at the higher ups choose what goes down with the game. The devs are just have to follow our orders regardless of what, you know, the community wants. So I, I should probably I wish there was like another term for that where I can se like separate the devs from maybe the leads, the leads. I yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But that, that's what I mean. Those guys, the leads, refuse to kind of change. I, I hope with this last update, there was a huge shift in whatever, right? Because 
uh, they told us no sprinting, what, what Isaac said, no sprinting while running or it's, it's just gonna feel faster. And then the update comes out and it's you're full on sprinting and putting on plays faster. Never mentioned that in any of the calls. But um, yeah, man, I, 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 I hope there's a change. I think there's only one like one problem. I'll keep that part short is that the, the, the game is inherently tied to Modern Warfare 2. And they're, the elements that exist in that game, I just don't foresee them changing. Whether it's their ranked league with the CDL or just the general gameplay mechanics, you can't expect them to change in Warzone unless they separate them, but that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So like, if we're talking about a simple thing like being able to jump and then when you ADS, it doesn't give you a penalty, I don't see that happening because they would have to change the engine for multiplayer as well. Same thing with strafe speeds. Like a lot of the things that would be solutions, I just don't see them as viable options because there's no precedence that where they're going to have completely different gameplay mechanics for multiplayer and Warzone. Even when we had the integrations of the other game, we really never saw that. And, and the only other change, maybe they did that strafing while mounted. Yeah. But besides that, I can't really recall an instance where it was like multiplayer functions completely different than Warzone. Okay. So you don't think it's possible? I mean, Hunter, I know, listen, I know Hunter knows a lot of a lot, right? Is that even possible? I don't, Hunter, I don't even know if you have, you know, is that possible for people to change like mechanically? Are you, so, Jay God, you're saying they would have to separate multiplayer's mechanics from Warzone's mechanics to make it happen? Well, I, I, I don't think they would change Modern Warfare 2. Okay. No. Is it possible so unless, to separate? Like, can you change that's, specifically just... That's the only just, way to do it, but since I don't think that's going to happen, the mechanics that I would want for the game can't aren't possible it would because they're tied to modern warfare 2 and yeah. they're not going to change modern warfare 2 you're going to have that slow ass dead silence you're going to have a slow uav the counter uav the advanced uav like literally every animation diving sliding uh prone whatever it literally everything is slowed down yeah. and unless they decide to overhaul modern warfare 2 i don't see that happening yeah. yeah, I don't even think sliding should even be in the game. It doesn't have any positive effect, and all it does is make it where you're slower. So I don't even know why they have that in the game. Like, genuinely yeah. do not understand why they're sliding, because, you know, in, like, Black Ops 4, Cold War, Vanguard, there's not even slide canceling, but the fact you can slide and shoot yeah. is, like, a huge thing. You can't even do that now. Like, you literally, if you're sliding and getting shot at, you're dead. So I don't know why sliding is even a thing. Another thing I think is huge that they don't do with Warzone 2 is there's like no fun game modes outside of this normal solo duo trio quad. So in Caldera, they had that one where the explosives would make you go super high. People were hitting yeah. clips on that. <laughs> even, even like stupid shit like Juggernaut Royale, right? It's so stupid, but it's fun because you get a different experience whether you're fighting a Juggernaut or you have a Juggernaut. There's just a different experience. And we literally don't have any of that in the game. And the game's months old. Like, we even had, what was it, Rebirth, like, snipers only and, like, shotguns or something? Like, they, we don't have anything like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Just, I mean, we haven't even seen stale. the basic buyback. Like, they buyback tried solos. hardcore or realism. Yeah, we yeah, had realism. Buybacks. We had they did nighttime. so many different things. We don't have anything. We don't, we, the new game has had literally nothing. And also, they had I feel unhinged. Like yeah, that was stupid. Like, <laughs> that was really just dying to six mans. Like it was, it wasn't fun. Yeah, and another third person. Thing I, I don't know why they've they've scrapped the yeah. whole idea. They scrapped that. it completely, right? Like they I haven't seen yeah. third person come like back in forever. There's only a mosh pit in multiplayer. <laughs> like what? So, well, like, go ahead, go ahead. Honey. There, there, there's another thing too. I feel like with the multiplayer that trickles over the war zone. There's like, mo okay, so I feel like in a lot of aspects they downgraded Modern for 2019 to Modern for two. So. A great example is like party game modes, infected, right? So in this game, infected is like every other infected, where it's just like multiplayer maps, 18 people, whatever, right? In Modern for 2019, you, there was a specialist bonus where you would collect perks as you kill people, and then they had nighttime infected. Okay, have you played nighttime infected? It's crazy. It's like it's an intense experience. They had ground war infected. It's like 64 yep. people infected, and the new game just has. 18 players infected and i feel like down they, they literally are downgrading like every aspect of the game no gunfight in the game hey that no... is future content that's going to be on the yeah. season three roadmap I, I just feel like, well, well even the even one of the core things that like a lot of people it seemed to be universally liked was the option to choose what mode type you wanted even within vanguard where it was the the blitz mode you had the standard or whatever the hell they were else called. oh that's right i would yeah, just the play the pacing? blitz one or whatever the yeah the so you would queue up and you could be some of these maps i mean they have bad spawns 
game doesn't play like I would think it would, but even 10v10 would help some of these maps out or even 8v8 as playable options. So I don't know. It's kind of odd. Maybe there's not enough players, but they sold more copies than anything. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't see that as an excuse. I don't know. Well, yeah, and uh, also, like, I know everyone in general, multiplayer doesn't like night modes, but night modes had its place to be fun, whether it was Warzone or it was, like, stupid party game modes in multiplayer. I feel like there was always a place for that. And another thing, too, that they choked so hard on is no gunfight at launch because yeah. they innovate, they innovated gunfight so much. So Modern for 2019, they had the tournaments for, for a blue That was so cool. That was fun. That was yeah. so dope. Yeah. And then eventually they have on Modern for 2019, they created a 1v1 mode with the gunfight maps where you could just hop in and 1v1 a random person. Where yeah, and you can talk to them. Yeah, and then Cold War, they made those gunfight maps 6v6 eventually. So they literally choked not having it in this game because there's so much to work with having gunfight. So, and I know people in Modern for 2019 just love like 1v1ing on shipment, speedball. So I feel like they definitely dropped the ball. So I, I guess my here, here's the thing, right, Royce, is with everything going on, I actually want to talk about this. This actually plays into what you were just saying is did they like what what was the game plan here? Did they just give up? Because right going into it, November, whatever, 15th, when the game came out, they announced, oh, two year cycle, um, two years of content. Right. And then yeah. boom, some time what was it last month? Or I, if you guys can refresh my memory, they announced, never mind. It's not a two year cycle. Right. It's a whole new game. Are, are they just scrapping this year, bro? And saying, fuck it. Like, we're going to, like, screw Modern Warfare 2, whatever. We're going to, we're focusing all our attention on next year. Because I feel like if they if their plan was to make a new game, right, on, on like, since November, when the first game dropped, if their plan was in a year from then to drop a new game, they would have told us that, right? And now, a, a month ago, we're hearing that they're making a brand new one. Was all this planned? Because if you're telling me... Sledgehammer has less than a year to make a fucking technically a brand new game. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I would say it's I a little confusing it because okay, there's Hunter. some stuff with leaks and then there's stuff without leaks, which kind of throws off, throws off timelines because I know when the leak initially came out, they said it was going to be a two year COD and COD never actually announced. I don't think they actually made an official announcement regarding that. I think it was just a leak that said, oh, they're going to have this for two years. And it might have been misinterpreted because the second year of content is going to be related to Modern Warfare. So I don't know. I, I, I think it's all like Scree. Obviously, he's going to oh, I don't know, everyone's camera is probably in a different spot. But yeah, he's going to mention something. Yeah. But in general, I think that there's where the confusion comes through is because you have different people tweet stuff out that are leakers. And then an account like Charlie Intel or Modern Warzone tweet it out. And then it feels more official. Right. And. I'm sure the leaker had all the sources, so things are lined up, but there could be still like a, a telephone system where at the end, the result is still what they said, but it's different than what they said. You know, yeah. you know Hunter. So. Yeah, Hunter, Hunter, uh, spit, Hunter, spit. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, this is a persona. This is not Hunter TV. This is, yeah. this is Mr. Ratman. Mr. Ratman. Okay, so from what I know, originally what it was going to be, like, not 100% on everything, that all the original Modern Warfare 2 maps were going to, and all, and all the weapons were going to be for year two launch, and they were going to sell it as like a paid DLC, but now it's like a new game, so I don't know. When you say that, do you mean like original Modern Warfare 2 guns, like you're saying, Intervention, like, yeah. UMP? And then... ACR, like... Well, from what I know is this... Look, my sources are not confirmed. No one take this and run away and say it's confirmed because I don't know if it's confirmed. From what I know, like the weapons and operators we have now will be usable in the next game, but that's just like not confirmed. I don't, I don't have like a for sure on that. But that's just what I heard. So like, Damn. Your, any camos you have now, any weapons will be usable in the next one. But again, I don't know for sure because they literally can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't see why that that wouldn't be a thing because even when, you know, 2019 came out and then in, they implemented into Warzone. Then Cold War was a completely new game, but you could still use all those skins in, into Warzone 1. So I'm pretty sure, or until they name it Warzone 3, which I hope they never do, um, like <laughs> it'll stay, you'll stay being able to do that. But I mean, that makes sense if for whatever reason they decide to bring back all the OG Modern Warfare 2 guns and all that stuff and label it like whatever the hell they're going to name it. I, that that makes sense from a business standpoint because that would genuinely it's like oh we thought it would be what people thought this game was supposed to be 
Because they'll see, oh, but all the other casuals brought Modern Warfare 2 thinking it was going to be like a remastered, got the game, and they're like, what the fuck is this, right? So now, with this next year, if that is true, we, I can see many people be like, okay, now this is like, like if they do it right, oh, the intervention's coming back, the UMP's coming back, the ACR, I can see now the casuals coming back, right? So how, I don't know how it worked and how they shifted that decision, right? Honestly, like I would, I'm glad they pivoted because if we had the traditional two-year model right think of the public sentiment of oh crap what we have right now for mw2 is what they've committed to that's going to bleed into warzone 2 so that means warzone 2 for the next 24 months or at, at this point 18 months is basically going to be stuck under the influence of iw leads whereas now if you want to huff the copium six months <laughs> from now we might have sledgehammer with the majority influence over warzone yeah now, that being said, IW could blow us all away and actually pivot and give us what we want in Warzone, but that's up to them whether or not they want to quote-unquote save the game, you know, yeah. before okay. the next-gen release in October or November. So this is, okay, now going into this, I'm glad you said that. Going in now, each one of y'all, if whether you believe yes or no, whether the game can be saved or not, what changes do you guys believe um, this game needs to actually get it to where it deserves to be, you know? Um, and, and I'll tell you guys my thought process. I actually told the dev a whole list of things. Um, but what, what truly, what does this game need to get back to where it was? Because right now, whatever it is right now, it, it, it's, it's, it's getting to the point where like so many people are already leaving the game from, and I'm talking streamers as well, which streamers technically are supposed to be the last people out the door, right? Like, so, Jay God, what, what do you think, man? Uh, I think probably the number one is to figure out TTK and uh, be more proactive. Even if they make mistakes on the proactive part, it's better to do something and it suck than to do nothing. Even though you'd get called out for it sucking, at least if they nerf the shotgun, people would be like, all right, cool. Now it's garbage. So what? You know? Oh, you know what? We buffed this uh, M4. Everyone would be kind of happy for a couple weeks. And then nerf it. Who cares? Like, yeah. just be very <laughs> proactive. And that's like lazy content. That's super easy, I would imagine, just to go, you know, let's nerf and buff, nerf and buff, nerf yeah. and buff yeah. constantly. And I understand as a casual, it kind of sucks because you have to use 17 weapons to create one meta build for one weapon. But, you know, it is what it is. There is a problem with that. They could figure that out. Maybe they unlock everything in Warzone. I don't know. Whatever they got to do to make it work that way. I think the TTK is probably the biggest issue. Yeah. Um, and then just remove some of the cheese. Like, there shouldn't be bomb drones in the game. We had those stupid heavy helicopters. They got rid of those pretty quickly, and I haven't seen them come back. And they're directly tied to microtransactions. Yeah. And I, I don't see any microtransactions for bomb drones. So why are they, like, so adamant about keeping them in the game? You know? So, I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff. I'm sure they're going to touch on those things in addition to what I just said. But Jacob, I'm going to add real quick to what you said about, because uh, I, 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 you had said this in your video. Um, about them like every week i think the lack of updates is kind of crazy if you really think about it in the last three or four months since the game's been out we've had one major update like truly one major update right we had a couple little ones but it's like yo like adding adding a, a zip line is not an update you know? like like i don't know where along the lines we we kind of came to this conclusion that the bare minimum even not even the bare minimum. I feel like below bare minimum is enough because it's not. You know, I miss back in the days when we'd have updates every week. Like Jay God said, even if they're messing the game up, like, like even if they're doing something, they're changing something right away next week. We know it's gonna be fixed in a week. Whatever, just try things. Going back to what you said about nerfing and 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 buffing things. Think about it from a business standpoint. I, I, somebody who would buy skins, like yo, yo let's say the, the M13's meta. You buy an M13 skin, right? Next week it's not meta again, right? You keep going, but then. Kind of like, oh, I might as well buy this skin if it looks cool, even though it's not meta currently, because more than likely it's gonna be meta at one point because they're making so many updates. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of the thought process that I had. Like, yo, Activision, if you're yeah, it goes this, both like, ways. yeah, For sure, it goes you both can ways. make money off of like constant updates. You no, know, why we're we we have months without an update is kind of crazy to me. So uh, yeah, add to that. Hunter, you're good. Um, one thing I think we for sure need is events. Um, events are a huge thing, I think, like Haunting of Verdansk. Best event uh, ever. The, the 80s. The Ronin 80s events event. not enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What's the Ronin event? I didn't even know that was the concern. Ah! Event. No, I thought you unlocked the crossbow. I'm just trolling. Well, like, okay, so a great example is that the 80s action hero event or whatever it's called, right? Yep. That had like the big tower added. That was really yeah. fun for a lot of hardcore Which is players. Akatomi? Is that what you're talking about? Nakatomi? Yeah, 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 that was an event, right? They Beautiful. added that from an event. Yeah. So something like that, I think, is needed because events are just exciting for everybody because there's cool cosmetics, cool game modes, and they change the map up. We haven't gotten a single event. Yeah. I don't count the well, Ronin thing as an event. In well, the well, I'll tack onto that really quickly is that like they could have done creative stuff with the Ronin event. It could have been an LTM where you land and somebody has maybe like 500 health. They get these samurai swords and they just get to run around. They're marked on the map. Do like the Thanos event like they did in Fortnite. Yeah. You know, <laughs> literally one person's super powerful. Everyone's got to like it could be an LTM, even if it's not something we would stream or make content out of it's just like another mode to play and then maybe you can unlock the crossbow that way versus oh i have to do these arbitrary challenges that don't necessarily line up with the actual event you know yeah. i don't know I mean, that, we're out here talking about ltms and like special events and we can't even get solos in a shika so i mean yeah that's yeah, yeah, crazy yeah, that's sure. crazy well another thing i think they need that is just like an overall thing it's not really for like streamers and all that. i think it's just an overall thing they need a better storyline with the game because people were super involved with modern warfare and cold war storyline and casual players like are really into that and we haven't gotten like any story related things i personally really enjoy the story of the game and we haven't gotten anything and they kind of just added the chic island and there's like no backstory to it and i think having a story also helps them progress the game when it comes to updates because it makes more sense to why they add more things to the game like for example the zombies in Verdance. They had the big ship come in. That was all story related. Mm -hmm. We got more stuff when we had a story going versus now we had season one. We had just, we had a cinematic of El Masra. That was like an in-game theater mode cinematic of the operators just coming in. And that was it. There was no story. Same with season two. Ashika Island, we just had a cinematic of people fighting and there was no real story to it versus with Verdansk and Caldera when they had story related things. The map was changing. Caldera, we had the volcano with the peak um what else stadium do we have? blowing up stadium blowing stadium. up that was a part of the storyline that was a part of the storyline yeah. red doors company came uh, <laughs> exactly oh, oh, red bunkers. doors there was a lot of yeah. stuff yeah oh man so what did we get for season two we just got warzone that was part of the story and then season three i can't quite remember and then i remember we got the subway stations and then well, yeah, they didn't they even do anything for the the afghan right like the the plane crashing in like, no it's just it just like existed and Cold War, we got so much map change because of the story. Like when uh, downtown completely exploded, mm -hmm. that was all part of the storyline. Everything they did was story related, and we haven't had any of that. And that's why I feel like it's a big issue is because I feel like they're lacking motivation as well because there's no storyline going on where they feel like they have to progress anything. Huh? Isaac. So that's all I have. Talk to um, me. Uh, just so everybody I, knows, side note, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, sure. Like Hunter brings a lot of like the content creation side, the multiplayer side of like the combo. So I think we all have different opinions. Hunter's heavily on that. And that there is a fucking community for that. Hunter does an amazing job at describing that. Just thought I would throw that out there. But Isaac, go ahead. Well, and he, he, you're a grinder. You've got like 800K on YouTube. You've gotten um. like every mastery camo <laughs> for like the last five years. Every zombie camo ever. Like he puts in probably more hours than most of us. Like he's there. For sure. um, but, but what I would say for like what would make the game the best, the quickest, right? And it's kind of in relation to, to J God's latest video is we have to change the way the game feels, right? I don't care if you change the TTK and you make it to where more bullets are to kill, if I'm still playing the entire game like this, like that's not fun. I would rather have the exact same TTK, the exact same dog water audio, but give me better movement. It's the yeah. feel of everything that I'm doing when I'm challenging people, when I'm in gunfights, when I'm mantling. Why is it when an explosion hits me, I'm staggered? Like, I don't need the realism people in chat because that's not what we're playing. We're playing an arcade shooter. I yeah. want to feel fluid. And dynamic i want to be able to jump around corners mantle on top of stuff i do not want Spit. slide canceling i do not want slide canceling but i want to be able to slide and shoot while i'm sliding i want ah. to be able to slide and then aim down sight and then maybe stop my slide i want a dolphin dive and not take a quick nap and then pull my gun out i want <laughs> i want to play the game man it plays ah. it could be so beautiful the gunplay is amazing the graphics are amazing the sounds of the guns are incredible but like the entire game is built around not playing the game it's sitting on a high ground. I literally won 
duct taping my finger now, to L2. That was crazy. Hey, they got to go. Did you turn that into, into uh, a video? It's going to be a YouTube uh, video, yeah. <laughs> this guy literally duct taped. I'm not even kidding. Duct taped his finger to his left trigger to aim down sight, and he won like that. 18 kills first game, the entire game like this. That. All right, let me add. Okay, so you, you, Isaac, are you done? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add on to that. If you yeah, have more to feel, man, I just want uh, to feel we can talk about balance. We can talk about LTMs. Yeah. And I just when I'm in the game, I want to feel fluid. OK, so let me hey, I'm going to start cooking. Hold up. So let me <laughs> let me reiterate and say this right now, man. If the old school plating is back, if the, um, the, the floor loot is back and that's still not bringing people back to the game that's still not rising the numbers that's not making you know like like if that's not changing the dynamic no. something else is wrong so what is wrong it is the baseline is the foundation of the game there is a reason why not even casuals like this game it's it's, it's not because you go and you look at people you spectate you go to different streamers everything looks the same everybody's movement everybody's thing everything looks the same even for if to to play it and to watch it, it is the exact same thing. You go and look at, at Warzone 1, movement, all that stuff. You can, There was different styles of play style. Look at Iron. Mm -hmm. Iron yeah. played, you know, like like competitive, right? Like the win. He played. He had a different play style. But then you could turn to Diaz and see the cracked out movement, the, you know, twisted. You had both ends of the spectrum. Right now, there is no difference in play styles. They quite literally forced you to play like one play style and that's it. So what do I think the, the game needs to change? To, like truly, they need to do in a, a complete 180. I'm not even kidding. And, and I mean that in regards to movement. I'm going to give you guys a list. I'm going to bring this list up, boys, and I'm going to let you guys know. And I'm talking specifically for just movement of what I think the game needs to be better. Because right now, people, there is no outplayability. And it's not even like just for casuals like I'm, I'm sorry i'm not it's not just for the the, the 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 try hards right like it's it's for everybody bro you want to be able to get better if possible I, and i'm not talking about slide dancing that's not what i'm saying i'm saying there needs to be an increase in every animation every single animation in this game is slow it's so so this is the best way i described it call of duty is defined as a fast-paced first-person shooter with modern warfare 2 they took off the fast pace this is dead ass just a first person shooter that that's uh, it, it does not feel like the arcade style that it used to be it, it, you know so let me go ahead and you guys let me know what you guys think about these changes this is and i'm talking specifically to just movement right so i sent this to one of the devs you know whether they what they do with it is you know it's not up to me it's up to them right so i said all right for the game to genuinely be fun again it, it, everything every animation needs to be sped up so i'll describe this um ads speed needs to be faster strafing speed needs to be faster base running speed needs to be faster tactical sprint speed needs to be faster a way to reset tactical sprint whether they make this into a perk i don't know but a way to re reset tactical sprint i don't know how they would do it i think it would change the feel of the game completely right um uh no delay to ads when you jump don't know why that's a thing and it feels like you're you have body like you have body armor and you're jumping right fuck realism don't care like this is call of duty if you want realism go to battlefield i mean not even battlefield go to fucking pubg tarkov right? tarkov armor uh, anything yeah. you fucking else bro right uh uh ads okay uh bring back bunny hopping i don't know i guys i tweeted out a clip i saw it bro. Uh, of, of this you know what i can i can even bring it up if y'all want i i i saw a clip which was insane to me that like that is even like that's how the MW2 game, beta mw2 beta guys so look, look i'll bring it up after this i'll show you guys right now uh but bunny hop right shoot while sliding shoot while diving take off the delay like isaac said and aim down sighting after diving there's so many times where you can use the diving to make plays there's so many times but there, when you dive um they're like all you do is dive and you just hope that the other person you're going to shoot at sucks. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like, you literally like, just hope they suck. If you could you imagine good. the clips of like a yes. last, like you've got a full team coming at you and you dive past someone and you're literally shooting uh, while like, diving. Mad, mad, mad Max Payne, like. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like even if it's just hit fire while yeah. while, while uh, diving, but then when you when you hit the floor, you can aim down sight right away. Like right. these are things oh. that that add to the outplayability, which make clips, which make things go viral, which hence brings more people to your game. Right, so I'll continue. Right, uh, and then uh, bring, right, decrease the delay in ADS, and then obviously, lastly, reload canceling. Um, those are all the things that I said that it, it's literally pretty, pretty much upping the speed of everything to let people play different play styles. And I will say this, guys, for everybody watching, you know, we're, we're not under NDA anymore, right, Isaac? We can talk about the things that they said in the last in the previous meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so they 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 said that. They don't plan on changing the movement anytime soon that they think it's balanced. And then they also said that there's no there's no chance that in the foreseeable future, there's no reload canceling coming back uh, that they're going to leave us that. So, like I said, what needs to change? There needs to be a drastic, drastic change at the top, because if they're seeing this and they're OK with that and there's and they're fine with the numbers, something's something's wrong. I, I don't know who is in charge or what but if they said that like you want to ask me if i was a dev or if i was the lead suits let's call them the suits i would say yo this is what we need there needs to be a drastic change in like where everybody can play the game they're all for people oh you should in all the calls we've been in oh they should be able to play like this if you want to play this you can right now there's only one way to play but uh, i'm gonna play this clip boys i'm gonna bring it up uh, uh real quick and i'm um if you, i know if you guys probably saw it already but mm. this was the movement in the beta bro this was the beta right this was the beta so somewhere along the lines oh shit i don't know what i just did uh hold up there you go all right uh it might cut off my end but i'm just gonna show it to them screw it um somewhere along the lines they for some reason this this was what they decided to go backwards right i'm playing it now Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Slide yeah, canceling. Crazy. Slide canceling, bunny hopping, fast, no well, delay fair, for that jumping. That version of slide canceling was not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was not good. It but, was, uh, you were doing a uh, brutality on the controller, and um, <laughs> that no one's actually looking for that. I think we yeah. just appreciate that you can actually move. Yeah, I think every animation, every animation, this looks like it was sped up. Yeah, the uh, bunny hopping looks unreal. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing is like, I don't want to have to like Konami code every time I go to slide cancel, right? But if I, even just like Cold War slides, right? If I press circle to slide, I can L2 at any point during that slide and it pulls my gun up, right? I don't, I, I don't like- That's how Treyarch normally does crowds. it, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny. I watched the, watched the CDL. I know probably you guys watch a certain percentage of it at some times. And out of the entire season up into this point, I think there's only been one slide in game and, <laughs> and everyone by, in chat went crazy and yeah. it was by like hoop and it was accidental like yeah. it was clearly a mispress yeah. and it was like that was it like literally an entire functional mechanic is not used by anyone in the pro league and it's not ga'd so yeah. it's not like you know they're saying hey don't do it they literally do not use it because it is that bad and that just says something about the game in and of itself that like you would refuse to use something that's in the game because it's a penalty it just is. It's crazy to me. Well, here's the here's the thing that really is the craziest part of it all to me. So at COD Next, obviously, we all talked about how we want to change it at COD Next, and we talked about how we want to change it after the beta. We have all been public advocates for all of these things for the last six months, right? So we've been we've been pushing for it. But the most wild thing is in between the beta and launch, we all were pretty much expecting that they were going to patch the slide cancel, right? Because mm. it was like it yeah. was like harder than circle circle sprint or like you know circle circle X. It was like insane, the combination you had to do. So yeah. we knew that was going to get patched. But they patched the bunny hop at launch without telling us, or based off of our feedback from next to beta, it was like, all right, next, beta, we're still kind of feeling the movement's a little clunky. And then at launch, they take out bunny hopping on top of it. Make it worse. We blindsided. Yeah. I, I don't know what happened in those calls to where they we, we played the beta, we gave them our feedback, said, yo, this feels slow, it feels clunky. And then they made it slower <laughs> I, I i gent that's what i'm saying man like is i i hope within the last month because obviously they made a change to plating and running while plating when they literally told us 
They're going to nerf it. Watch. Yeah. I, I swear to God, Jay God, don't say that. Jay God, don't fucking say that. <laughs> don't fucking say that, bro. They're gonna bro. nerf it. Watch. They're gonna uh, nerf it. They'll be like, oh, it, you know what? We bumped it more than we had planned. Oh, uh, uh, dude, don't. You know? I would do that. I'm fucking. Hey, hey, catch me on Fortnite, bro. Uh, but uh, listen, craziness. I don't know what changed within that. Right, Thursday they told us there's no changes. We're not. You're not gonna be able to run. Then Wednesday of the next week, the update comes out and you're literally full sprinting while plating, which I think is an amazing change. Don't change yes. it. Just saying, just throwing it out there. Uh, right. <laughs> and so like did our last update was that did they have a drastic change in what like the, the like in the office? I don't know, because if you're asking me same thing of what it needs. There needs to be a drastic change in movement speed of everything because they've done the plates. They've done the, the you know, running while plating. There needs to be some type of outplayability, and we just see the the player base dropping every single month. They got to do something drastic to get this the, their player base back. What that is, I mean, I, I can give a, you my a opinion. A lot of it but. comes down to like like negatives, right? So like if they were to give us, let's say, eighty percent of our sprint speed while plating versus a hundred percent, who's gonna be mad that they gave us a hundred percent, right? Yeah. It's it's like why take these half measures like reload canceling? Are we going to lose players? Because we get rid of reload canceling. Yeah. Nobody, nobody wanted players that. Because I can get my gun up faster while I jump. Like, let's just talk about net. Who's leaving the game because of this? Right? Well, but who's leaving the game because it's the other way? I mean, at the end of the day, money's in the players. I don't think people are leaving the game if all, like, it, when bomb drones are moved, I'm not leaving the game. If firefighters get nerfed, I'm not leaving the game. But while they say that way, you're going to catch me on Apex. You're going to catch me on Fortnite. Yep. Like, what is the negative of balancing yep. these things? 100% that. Hunter, well, what were you going to say? Thing too is even Caldera, they were promoting more speed items. They had like a, literally a speed boost you could pick up off the ground. And then they had that in season five, they had that roid, uh, the rage thing. You could, the serum, whatever it was called, that would make that. you even faster. They still have that technically in, in here too. And what? That the modern warfare too. Does it make you faster? Rage? Yeah, but it gives you unlimited tax sprint. But it's not the same as Caldera. It's not, but Caldera. you know what I mean. They do have one thing, but they even nerfed that. You know, I'll be honest. I didn't even know that was in the game. I'm gonna keep it a bug fifty. I didn't well, even know there was racing. Yeah. There, they were literally adding so many items that were meant for mobility, and it sucks. I feel like every quality of life change we got in warzone one even though caldera wasn't great the, the the quality of life changes were great the redeploy tokens they just added those in in warzone two and they're like new update or whatever and we don't even have gulag tokens to like give you a fair chance because you know how if you're running and you can't run to cover fast enough in warzone two you're just dead and it yeah. sucks there's not even gulag tokens to like come back or anything and then on top of that we don't have balloons anywhere i like balloons because you can move faster and get in engagements and even is that the drones to uh, resurgence today? Yeah, yeah, yeah I they saw call that. that new. And I don't like how the plating thing was considered like a new feature. They literally put like the running while plating into the, into the trailer. Like it was some fucking crazy ass like <laughs> new thing. It should be baseline, and, right? Like, uh, yeah. And then uh, what was the other thing? There was one more thing. Oh, like basic quality of life changes that were literally there since Modern Warfare 2019 Redonsk and March 3rd. We don't even have simple things like when you do multiple contracts, the money multiplies higher with each contract you do, right? So it's like, oh, you do contract one, next contract you do, you get 1.5 times the money. We don't even have simple things like that. I feel like every single little thing is just like gone. This game just feels empty to me. Like it yeah. feels absolutely empty. And I also don't agree with the whole idea of the weapons all being the same, like, uh, like for example, TAC-56 is literally like the TAC-V versus having a unique weapon in each Easy. category. I feel like one thing we lost for Warzone 1 is like the catalog of weapons, right? Because when you're making a sequel, you want to go bigger and bolder, right? Every Call of Duty's proven that. Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2, that was a bold sequel. Uh, Modern Warfare 1 to Modern Warfare 2, that was a bold sequel. This game does not feel like a bold sequel. It feels like, it feels like if you put... Model for 2019, a model for two, in the name model for two, a model 2019, that would feel like the proper sequel. Yeah. Even with Warzone 1 and 2, if you labeled Warzone 2, Warzone 1, and you labeled Warzone 2, Warzone 1, if you just swapped them, it feels like we went opposite of a sequel. I feel like we got, we have prequels, like we're in a prequel era. And yeah, we have we are missing so many features. It's just uh, insane. I agree. I think that, bro, like... I, I, I obviously I get it. Like I, I don't want to say that, like I get it, but like 
Bro, you go from a whole team like Raven Software putting their all and listening to the community because I know there's a lot of casuals probably in here that don't even know this, but the reason why there's such a drastic change from Warzone 1 to Warzone 2, there were different developers. Like, let's say last year, we had the most, like, transparent, like, people ever. Teddy, if you're watching this, I love you. Like, the most transparent people ever, like, just talk, like, letting us know, okay, this is what's going to happen. Give me your feedback. What do you think? Yes, no, whatever, whatever. Okay, they, and it wasn't like, oh, whatever I told Teddy or the team they would do. They We just knew at least they were listening. Now... We, I, I'm less boys. You guys know I don't have anybody to talk to right now that like I can have combos or and they're not letting us know in these weekly updates or these the Trello boards, whatever the hell that's called. Like there nobody's talking to anybody. And I don't want I don't mean to see seem entitled or like oh like streamers. I'm not talking about streamers. We need to know what's in the loop. I'm talking about the community. Fuck streamers. I'm talking about specifically the community, the people that you care about, your core. We should know why you're doing what you're doing. I'm not, and I don't mean that, I don't mean to sound entitled, but I'm saying like the the core community, I think it'd be good if we knew like what was going on. The same time, the same way that we had communication back in with Raven Software last year, we need that shit now. You know, and it's a completely different team. So I get it. Caldera, they got, they literally got rid of all the, the you know, everything that kind of made Caldera blow up or not blow up, but, their numbers rise at the end. They took all that stuff away, like lootable perks. Those little yep. moments, those exactly. little moments, boys. Like I remember opening, I, guys. I literally did this. I opened the chest every time. I uh, watch your ears. Every time I opened up and I got tempered, I was like, ah! Like I literally, I would scream. Exactly, I would scream yeah. from excitement. Like those, <laughs> the, like a those, speed boost out of a crate. Yeah, those it little makes the moments. The looting experience better. The looting yes. experience is just better for the player. Those little moments, guys, they that makes up so much of like, like the fun that you have in the game, right? And it's yeah, like exactly it, those we don't have any of those little moments anymore. Like there truly isn't. It's get on the pacing is the exact same thing throughout the whole entire time, and then you're off, right? Like like there's no. I think they just they're so focused on sales and realism, and in my opinion, it should be fun over realism, even like. Ba balancing I, I think let's have fun bro let's go back to having fucking fun in the game and prioritizing that before anything else so that just well that goes uh, back to the whole idea of downgrading model for 2019 <laughs> literally had a place for realism for people that wanted to play realism yeah and i'm not gonna lie realism was dead like if you try going that game mode it's dead you either wouldn't find a game forever or you would find the same people over and over and another thing i don't like that they're doing is labeling this game as like a new engine when I don't think it's a new engine at all. So in Warzone 1, there's this bug that still exists. When you get out of a moving car, yep, it like yep. it like randomly throws your lethal. Why does it do it in the new game if it's a new <laughs> engine? Yeah. Shouldn't it not do that? Yeah. And another thing too is I feel like um frame rate and like graphically, we took a huge leap backwards. Um, like I got on Caldera Warzone the other day. I'm getting over 200 frames, no DLSS, max graphics. I get on the new Warzone with max graphics, no DLSS, it feels terrible. Like the frame rate feels terrible yep. and again graphically it took a huge step back but that's because the water as well because when they when we had that meeting they told us a lot of their assets were taken up by water i think that's crazy they're sacrificing so much for water hmm. yeah, that's nuts i didn't even know that you didn't know well, that? i mean i i think the game looks better i think model you think 20 so? i think it yeah, looks i think beautiful. it looks good I think uh, Caldera had that like orangish hue. No, no. Even dude, when people I'm... ran filters, talking to you, FIFA. But <laughs> <laughs> this hue was orange. But in general, like I think the game looks aesthetically good, even without filters. No, dude. Like I'm talking straight graphics. Graphics. And, I think like, it means frames, level, right? Like no graphics. Like the level of detail and like just graphically how it looked. Like Modern Warfare 2019 was like photorealistic, and then the new game looks. I mean, I don't want to say a mobile game, but it does not look anywhere near the same, which makes no sense because why is the frame rate lower if the game looks yeah. worse? So that's, I, I think that's a huge issue is optimization. I well. don't remember 2019 like that vividly. I mean, obviously you you would Dude. know because you like would grab stuff from the, you know. From yeah, it looks insane. It's, I, I honestly think Caldera. Model 2019, I think Model 2019 is the best graphically looking game on the FPS market in general. And I don't understand mm -hmm. how we don't have that again. Yeah. At all. I, I personally, I went back to Caldera and 
graphics alone, I'm not talking about frame rate. Graphics were horrible, like I, so, compared to Warzone 2. So that's yeah. because, okay, so there's so much stuff in the game that the downscale the resolution of the textures, right? So uh, with Modern Warfare 19, with like the operators and stuff like that, when Cold War and Vanguard got integrated, they have, they have to lower the textures because there's so much going on with the game. Is that why stuff in the store looks awful? In which game? In, in any of the games it's like when you look at like inspect items when it says like preview like if you go to the store and you like preview something they're trying to sell me something for 2400 cod points and it looks like it's on a game boy color in the new <laughs> game i agree i don't know i just it, well it's definitely the old game got downgraded just because of how much file stuff's going on but overall like graphically i think model 2019 looks better i mean people are definitely gonna disagree but if you go back and look at the multiplayer and compare even the multiplayers of the old game new game the old game looks like so realistic and no one seems to agree with that, but I think people just forgot how it looked. All I'll say is if you want to push towards realism, whether it's, you know, more beautiful now, whenever, they're always going to try to be advancing graphics. Just because we're advancing graphics towards realism doesn't mean we need to advance gameplay towards it, right? <laughs> if we can have an yeah. arcade fun game with beautiful graphics. Exactly, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what we should be shooting for. Yeah, that's what I was hoping with Modern Warfare 2, honestly. Yeah, boys. We're down bad. I will take a moment to gas up one thing. Like, uh, I know we're complaining a lot, but I, I want to reaffirm some good things right now. This what? gulag, despite the fact that I don't like the map, right? It's just a race to hoot to two head glitches. Wish they would have figured that out. <laughs> yeah. In terms of weapon balance, this is the most balanced gulag we've ever had. Only yep. ARs, only SMGs, and snapshots. There's no, no stuns, stuns, no, no stun, flashes, no gas grenades. This gulag. I mean, there's a lot of positive changes too with this with the current game. I mean, they're kind of few and far between, and they're not like game altering. Like when we talked about earlier, when you said, "Hey, if this is in the game, is it keeping you on as a player or driving you away?" Mm -hmm. uh, I I don't think a lot of these things are those things that are that polarizing that people actually care about. Besides maybe console FOV or. Um, Maybe maybe swimming. I don't really think people like it's cool that you could swim, but I think if that wasn't an element, people wouldn't be like, oh, you know what? F Warzone 2. Like yeah. I, I yeah. like there's a lot of things. New contract only applies to a very small, finite number of individuals, which is okay. Feels like COD. Weapons at the buy, that's cool. But if it was only loadouts and they costed appropriate prices, I don't think it would be like a game. I mean, there's so many subtle things that are good, but it's not like good enough where it's like Yes, this is totally the reason to play Warzone 2. Right. Yeah, and uh, back to what you were saying about the Gulag, I, again, think they downgraded from the last Warzone. Warzone 1, the Verdansk era, we had multiple Gulags, and then with uh, Cold War's Warzone, we were getting a new Gulag every season that were based on fan favorite maps from Black Ops 2. And they were and, fire. Yeah, Those exactly. Gulags. We, there was always, even like the Gulag, it's its own element. It was still constantly changing. Versus now, we're in season two. We have the same gulag. They just moved a couple of items. Hey, and like, I read a 2v2 one. and the jailer, man. Like, I'm... <laughs> like that, they consider that new content, like hyped it up. That's why I'm, I'm just confused what's going on. Yeah. I mean, boys, like, I, 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 I the, the whole DMZ thing did, are they, I have a question. I don't know if you guys know. Do you guys know if there's two separate teams for DMZ to Warzone, or is it just all one team doing both things? Just out of curiosity. I, you got, does anybody here know? I'm not 100% sure, but it feels like in the meetings that we've had that there's certain people that are have a little bit more responsibility of what actually happens within DMZ. Mm. And they kind of put their head down and they work and making on that good. And if you actually play DMZ for what it is, it's, it's a more enjoyable mode. If you actually play it for what it is. Yeah. Uh, if you go and do the contracts, you can go through them. If you're playing with two people that are competent and not randoms you're gonna have a pretty good experience just going through casually and it'll feel pretty enjoyable because the maps aren't oversaturated with players there's just enough where it's like damn okay cool we got it that's a real player and you actually kind of get alert and other times you can chill and i think it's streaming it, it's a, probably a good streaming one because you can just talk to chat and you don't have to be focused up like yeah. every second because if you blink you're dead um but yeah so i don't know i, I feel like there's two different groups of people running it. And then there's somebody in charge of like the whole process of everything. Yeah. Okay. I, I think just it, it, go, going back to that, man, I think it's like we have the next update. The next big update is in a week, right? And next Thursday, I believe. Next. I don't think they've confirmed it, but yeah, the mid season oh, has to be next week. Reloaded. Okay. Yeah. Mid yeah. Cause there's like 30 days left and uh, yeah. this season. So they're kind of running out of time. 
Yeah, so, I mean, i am be honest, man. I went into this and I was going to say, like, genuinely, I don't even think, like, like if, if they don't do something big this season, like if mid-season update, I don't even know if we have till season three, let alone. Ray, the, the second raid drops, bro. We're saved. <laughs> I'll right, be honest. So, I don't know one I'm person who's done the raid. The raid's cool, but you I'm, know what I mean. <laughs> have you guys done the raid? I, I've never. Yeah. I did the first one. I it was chill. That shit. It was fun. It just doesn't have that much replayability. But it yeah, was it's fun. fun for like an hour. You go in, you kind of figure it out with some people. You do it for content. It is fun because you don't know what to expect. Yeah. Um, it is challenging enough that regardless of your skill, it is challenging the first time you go through. And then obviously you kind of optimize min max, you could strategize and it, it gets relatively easy, but it's still like worth an experience on the first day to go through and say, Hey, cool. That was cool. Like that's really realistically a piece of content. So I think when you don't do all the content, you're kind of under servicing like what they are actually putting into the game. You know what I mean? Cause then you could at least go, okay, I went through it. And now I can critique it and say that it didn't bring enough value to me as a player. But it was cool to have for like 30 or 40 minutes. Yeah. So I don't know. So one, one thing that I will say, like, you know, talking about the, the future of the game and whether or not we have hope, and this isn't, you know, like I said, huffing copium, we do have ranked, right? That's kind of going to be like my last thing yeah. where if we, if we flop hard here, I'm out. Realistic expectations, okay, in the developer meeting that we had, you know, a month ago leading up into season two, they were like, ranked is coming in season three. Everyone Wait, was no, excited. They, did, they We're didn't all give us about it. So, sorry to cut you off. They didn't give us the season date Ex at all. Exactly. Well, they, they gave they us the season. Bad. Yes. They no, told they us season say, three. They didn't. No, they didn't. They yeah, didn't they even did. tell us season. They, no, they, did. they didn't. They, 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 no, they said they don't they have did a timeline. Very misleading wording. It's very misleading. Yeah. They said they, they did not say season three. What did they say? They, they, would, they didn't give us a season. Season they three and beyond. And yeah. It's very. Yeah. Exactly. But what I will say. What I will say. And this is. A trust me, bro. Trust me. I don't ex don't expect it to launch at the beginning of season three. No, but expect it to launch in season three. That's still far away, though. If you hypothetically yeah. about something else, yeah, yeah, it gets in the way. Which, away. <laughs> more than likely, based on the track record. What I will For say, summer. however, and once again, trust me, bro. But I can't go too far here. The person in charge of ranked is not from Infinity Ward. And yeah. I know Treyarch built the ranking system, but the person in charge of actually managing the playlist and hypothetically a ban list is not from Infinity War. <laughs> okay. it, you know, hypothetically speaking, hypothetically, <laughs> would they would they be in a company from like maybe that starts with a T? Uh, it's, as far as I know, it's two people and, uh, it's from a company we trust. It's from a company we trust. Hey, okay. That is, so that I'm, is... I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. Okay. Okay. So uh, I think the thing is, do we have, bro, do we have that much time? Like does Warzone have that much time, bro? Like, bro, bro, I don't have any faith. Uh, I'll tell you that. I said it at the beginning <laughs> because they added combat records, right? And if you go on BO4 right now, like I, I was getting some B-roll for me to tweet out. And literally, they have combat records, right? And they literally have it separated by solos, duos, trios, <laughs> quads, <laughs> LTMs. We get everything mushed together. Yeah. Literally everything. Yeah. As a solo player, your stats are incredibly different. And then the whole purpose of that is because you care about your stats. The people that don't care about stats, they don't care about the combat record, whatever. But you're literally implementing a feature specifically for individuals who hyper-focus on their stats, i.e. KD, wins, win rate. And they don't even have like, like everything split. People yeah. are pissed that the resurgence, like the resurgence KD is the same as their, I don't know. It, I, I, like, if you can't get that right, I, I don't even know what to tell you. Like, yeah, yeah I got too much faith. They, they didn't get the combat record right after delaying it damn near a whole season. Damn. I mean, okay. <laughs> like, I, 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 I agree, I, I boys. Say realistic expectations, right? Like, when, we're, we are, when we are talking about ranked, at least for the foreseeable future, right, IW still has the umbrella. 
So even if even if if it's someone we really trust or a company we really trust, it's how far they let them off the leash. And in all reality, I want to go up there and cut the leash and let them run wild. I think we all do. Yeah. Hands are still tied. Yeah. And so we need to start seeing that trend early on to show promise for competitive in the future. Yeah, and the rewards need to be good as well yes, for a huge facts. incentive. I agree. I agree. I think uh, a lot of people are gassed by the, uh, the the skins that you're able to get from rank right now. Like, that's kind of a huge deal. Um, I don't know if they'll expand it, though, because I think uh, Apex started with 250 players, and then they expanded to 500 for their Predator, um, like, absolute top ranked. So I don't know if they'll expand that. And if the mode's going to be trios, you can't really give away one skin for the top player because, you know, like you're not going to really mm. solo feel to, I don't know, maybe you will. I hope they change the SR balance where it's not like it is right now where people are just pulling 18 hours a day grinding Modern Warfare. Like, I, I like the way that Overwatch does a lot of their Modern Warfare or does a lot of their rank system where if you win, you go up a little bit, but if you lose, you get hurt pretty hard, right? So like the people that are actually on top are like top Top of the, yeah. it's, not, it's not like apex predators who just literally just grind the game it's whoever yeah. plays the most yeah like i mean don't get me wrong the grinder should be rewarded but it should be a little bit more uh punishing <laughs> if you lose right your consistency yes, needs you to be should more important re, re, than re, your yeah you should lose sr if you right whatever all right but side so, so, no, boys boys we have a, a special guest coming on <laughs> <laughs> boys we have a special guest coming on to the podcast i'm gonna let y'all know right now this man has no filter this man don't give a fuck hey he wants to start cooking bro so i'm gonna let him hold on the, all the graphics can get fucked but let me <laughs> my boy crib hold on let me let me adjust this before uh let's do that there you go there you go Krim, Yo. can you hear us yeah yeah can you hear me yeah i can hear you good I'm baby here. Uh, you guys want to see my ugly ass face when I spit right now, or what's the deal? Yeah. Let me say, come here, bro. Start spitting. Right, Start spitting, oh bro. Is that phase crimsix. No. No. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I, I, I never thought I'd see the they day. Sent me merch, bro. Like a big ass box. Bro, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys. <laughs> wait, is he wearing? Is he wearing his champions uh, hat from? Yeah, yeah. From... <laughs> Bro, no, I saw uh, this. Uh, I was like, "You fucking dogs, bro! <laughs> you fucking dogs, bro!" <laughs> oh man, bro! All right, Crim, 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 tell it, tell us, tell us what's on your mind, Crim. What's up, bro? All right. So rather than explain it from the top down, I'm gonna go in the opposite direction here okay huh? so bear with me answer every question okay what was the biggest failure of call of duty what was the biggest fuck up from, <sighs> from the devs the publishers what was the like in, in its lifetime or are we talking recent years uh, with the modern warfare 2 release lifetime I left I'm gonna, for a long time. I only came back with blackout. So, put like, yourselves in their shoes. What was the biggest mistake? I'm gonna let y'all spit. I'm gonna let y'all spit. Y'all go. I <laughs> got no, just take a guess. I don't know. The, the only CDL? thing I can think of is SBMM. But besides that, or whatever their optimized matchmaking what, okay, nonsense. Let me, let me say here. What is their goal? Make money. money. Okay. How do you make money? Transactions. Yeah, I, and and <laughs> buying the game. It, Buying the game, okay? So starting from buying the game, what was the biggest mistake? Are you gonna say Warzone free to play? I'll give you guys a hint, right? What happens if you make a good ass game? People so play let's it? go, let's go. <laughs> Wait, you, you you're funny, bro. Yeah, and then the next one comes out and it's dog shit. Then what? People stop playing it. Or you don't buy the new one. Yeah, 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 yeah. The biggest failure in Call of Duty franchise history has been good games. Like, not good games, great games. To the point where you don't buy the next year's version, because why would you? you the game's a fucking blast. You know, I think COD 4, MW2, Black Ops 2, 
we are at a state where they will never allow that to happen again. Because what does it do? Look at the games after those games. Think about it. You so you think, they're, you, you think they're throwing? You what? think they're throwing on purpose? I think, see, I don't know if they figured out a way to do it, right? <laughs> but, You're giving but, them but, too much credit. <laughs> no, I mean, dude, here's the thing, right? How do you, dude, you know where this, all, this whole theory started from, right? Was by the fact that they dressed up a pile of crap and sold it for $25 million and called it a CDL team. How did they manage to do that, right? So I'm sitting there. So, so point is, right? Activision salesmen, they're, dude, they're on some next level shit. Okay? <laughs> they're on some next level shit, bro. They might know magic, bro. No, but, but seriously, if you think about it, right? If you make a game too good, like if you make a fucking once in a decade game, people are not going to buy the new ones because it's so fucking good and nothing else compares. Not only that, right? You got to think about if a game is great and they have to keep updating it, they keep making it better and better and better, right? When, when you talk about a yearly cycle, okay? The more, the longer you spend fixing your game that you just put out, the less time you have on your new game. That cuts into it, you know what I mean? And yeah. So, so my whole thought process on this whole thing is like, dude, they're not, they're in it to make it good for four to five months. That's it. They don't want to make it too good. You're you know? talking about even now. So like, what's the deal with now? Where are yeah. four to five I'm, months of goodness? Cause this shit's ass. I mean, dude, I mean, dude, the rank play shit, they probably had it in the works and it was probably good to go done, done with. And they like delayed it on purpose. I mean, think about it. Why, why, why would they put, I guess Warzone came out a little bit later than multiplayer, but I'm, we're talking fucking 15 days, right? Yeah. Hmm. Why did Warzone ranked not come out of this like 15 days after multiplayer ranked? Ooh. Makes no sense. Ooh. How, 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 what's the delay on that? Fucking three months, two months? So well, you don't, I don't think, know why it's taken them three years, but. So you don't no, think no, no, that I'm they. So you don't Go think ahead. that like they. You, you think, I, I, obviously to us, we're like, oh, they barely had the idea maybe like a month or two ago. You think that this shit's been in the works for a while and they're just like doing it on purpose? I, I mean, dude, is that the, in, in your guys' experience, right? That is the, assume that they're smart. <laughs> assume they're like very good <laughs> at their fucking jobs, okay? Yep. So, well, like, so let me, let me. sit here and think they're dumb, right? <laughs> What if they're geniuses? Right? So counterpoint, yeah. counterpoint. I agree because part of what you're saying no, is yeah, nothing if makes the game sense. is so bad yeah, I right love now, him, bro. We're I love going to look forward to the next game, and we're all, you know, hopeful that it's going to be good. So we're going to spend our fifty nine ninety nine buy the game, right? I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. What's the point of putting developer hours into fixing this game when we know that idiots are just going to buy the next game in the fall anyways? Yeah. Counterpoint. Yeah. If they make a good game now. Yep. And I'm playing that shit nonstop and I love it. And you make some good skins, I will spend hundreds. Yeah. Probably over the but lifetime of a year, over a thousand on microtransactions. So, if you make banger microtransactions and I love the game. Yep. So that is the biggest difference between Warzone 1 and Warzone 2. Skins are ass. There's awesome. like no new skins. Right? Oh. Is there next a new Warzone coming out next year? We don't no. even know how it's going to no. nah. Not that we know of, no. It's the only thing Warzone that's dropping is the, the mobile. And that's going to be Verdansk. Right now, it's only available yeah. in like New Zealand and Australia or something. But it's, yeah, but uh, like I see, I, I see what you're saying. And I'm also, it also brings me to think about the point of like Warzone 1 was, they were planning on doing a three-year cycle and they put so many fucking skins in the game. And then Modern Warf Warzone 2, there's like none. You know? Like, it's interesting. Like, you can't even go to a gun, hit, like, how many skins there is for it, and you can't even directly buy it. That's not... Yeah, it's lit. very weird. Yeah. The whole system. That Before, you could click sense. on it, and it would pop up seven blueprints that you do not own. But, yeah. hey, if you want it, just here's a quick little button. You can almost accidentally buy it. 
like it was so easy that, yeah think about that dude it doesn't I, I don't like but anyways you guys get what i'm saying though right <laughs> sorry sorry yeah but how do you explain a game like cold war that got an insane amount of content in every category from multiplayer to zombies to Warzone? like there was an insane amount of content across the board with that yeah I mean, I think if you're them, you make an insane amount of content and then you intentionally cripple the game like you did with Warzone 1. If you're going to do scummy business tactics, you cripple it by removing Rodansk and you cripple it by removing Rebirth Island, forcing people into your new title. Yeah, see, exactly. It's like, why, why would they do that? Why would they remove two of the biggest fucking, you know, Warzone maps? Everyone loves those maps, right? Like, everyone would rather play those fucking maps. So it's like... And, and and Caldera too, bro. They removed that. No one likes that shit. So it's not because. Well, they know, brought Caldera back. Yeah, they they paused it for like two recently? months. Yeah. No, but it's only in Warzone One. Only in Warzone One still. So if you still load oh, okay. up more One, you get access to that in a couple modes. But they removed their brand new Fortunes Keep, which they invested. It was only in the game for like four months, and yeah. then we had a uh, rebirth, which. They had for two and a half years, and then they completely removed that because they know smart. people would just stay on there. Yeah, yeah they're smart, bro. See, they, they they don't bring those maps. They didn't leave Verdansk. They didn't cycle through Verdansk yeah. and Caldera because they know nobody likes Caldera. It's not bro, the if greatest. Warzone One still existed, would anyone be playing Warzone Two? I would be playing Warzone One right now. Yeah. Yeah. Every, all the <laughs> other maps. War I would not be sim racing. I'd be playing Warzone <laughs> One. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> like, oh shit! But, I think we all know this, you know. But but you know what I mean. Like, if we have the perspective that they're not idiots, maybe that it's they're the exact opposite, right? Because there's so many things broken year after year that it's just like, like, dude, can we talk about the fact that okay, we have three different devs, but we encounter the same fucking problems year after year after year after year. At, like, I'm taught, dude. I played COD for. 13 plus years okay every mm -hmm. single fucking time a game drops <laughs> bro it is the same like 10 fucking mistakes same like same shit ranked that combat patched. records yeah yeah it's the same exact shit that does not make sense you know how do you how, like unless they're doing it on purpose i don't think these these guys are lazy at all well you know, one of the times that i for sure your... thought that Go ahead. And I think that's what they were trying to solve with the two-year cycle. And then we were just like, okay, well, this one might be a little bit chalked because it's still been on the rush cycle. But everything after this is going to be banger. Treyarch's yeah. going to have six years to work on their game, you know? But now it's yeah. like, okay, we kind of chalked that idea. Now we're just rushing shit yeah, out again. Exactly. It was probably well, because of how much money they made on this, you know, recent title. Yeah. With, with how, like... See, here's the thing. There's, there's two options. Either they knew the game was bad... So they knew they had to put out a new Call of Duty in the next year, right? Or option number two, they realized, hey, we just put out a shit title, made a fuck ton of money. Let's just do that again. <laughs> you know? called Black Ops 2, 2. <laughs> oh, well, what's, what's interesting is you're talking about how they remove Verdansk and Rebirth because you know people will be playing it. So uh, Charlie Intel had a tweet talking about they were sending out emails to like listers talking about what the next Warzone 2 map would be like what do you want it to be and there was options like a new map blackout verdansk verdansk 84 and caldera and i feel like honestly at some point they're going to remaster verdansk because warzone mobile shares the same engine with warzone 2 and monofer 2 and verdansk is already made on mobile so i yep. wonder if they would ever low just... res but it's there yeah it's there but i wonder if they'd ever well, bring the... it over here's after their poll the if they bring Verdansk back, right? And they keep it for a while, right? And it has to like, like I'm talking, if it overlaps with the new title or new war zone or new this and that, right? Then I'm completely wrong. But if they remove it right before a next war zone comes out or something to replace it, then I'm fucking probably, <laughs> I'm probably dead because I've been assassinated. <laughs> like, like, but I was right. But, but literally, I'd be dead. Um, yeah, no, but I mean, dude, it, nothing makes sense how, like, dude, they hear us, okay? Like, they hear the, they know their shit. They, they can't not know 
Yeah. Like, the shit is messed up. Yeah. At this point. Let me let me break some hearts in here. If Verdance came back right now, you would love it for about a day. And then you would hate it with these movement techs. Yeah, yes. I was gonna say that with the that same is the biggest setback for, yeah. for the new map. If it has I the would, same mechanics as Warzone 2. Yeah, I, I think but for it's lab, it's yes. more for it would be better, but it's more for the nostalgic factor, not necessarily mm -hmm. because it plays well, better, because it's a better map. It's just yeah, because we have the core we, gameplay is not yeah. there. I, well, I just love your dance because you got a multi-team fights. You don't yeah. get multi-team fights. With the, with, you know, the fucking volcano in the middle of the map <laughs> bullshit, dude. I can't believe... That is the worst... Oh, there. I'm, I'm gonna say it correctly to any devs watching. Level design, okay? I put out a tweet about <laughs> map design, right? And all the devs, the only thing they could fucking do was, was correct <laughs> me about... It's not map design, it's level design. Like, Semantics. Yeah, if Caldera, if they would have swapped... You know what I meant. Capital. capital capital was in the middle of the map i think caldera would have been like Dude, way, way more well received Dude, if you put downtown at like the top of the mountain say you just obliterated the mountain you just swap downtown <laughs> with uh what's it what's wait it what do you mean what do you mean like downtown verdansk no 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 on uh capital capital yeah, capital. capital it's called yeah. mazra yeah oh well okay. mazra oh yeah Oh, you're talking about Mazda oh, City. Oh, you're saying change yeah. uh, Mazda City to yeah, the middle of the map instead of... If you just literally yes. did this, it would be... Yeah. I am tired of seeing better. every... And look, it's the same thing. I'm tired of seeing Caldera, highest point in the middle of the map. You look at uh, Ashika Island, highest point, middle of the map. You look yep. at uh, um, uh, Mazda, highest point, middle of the map. I don't know why the people think that we love fighting uphill. Because it, it, Hell no. genuinely, it's really I'm fun tired. When you start on the top of the hill and then you can oh. rotate anywhere on the map. Late no, game, no, 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 no. fighting uphill sucks. But if it, is no, that no, worth it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, like, there's no. nothing to do with that, though. Okay? They know that shit sucks. <laughs> they, uh, every, uh, dude, everybody, uh, everybody know, knows, dude, fighting on hills in an FPS is horrible. All right? Yeah. They do it because of spacing, they do it because it blocks sight lines. Like, imagine if if the hill, the mountain, whatever the fuck you want to call it, what's it called? Dome? MW3 Dome? Uh, uh, yeah, observatory. 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 Yeah. observatory. yeah, yeah. Imagine if that was flat. So now you could get, you could literally see from like, uh, what's what's the village? I got called? Snipe Top Prison. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Top prison all the way to uh, the to dam. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, right? If that is flat, like the rest of the map, you now have three major locations all right next to each other where like the furthest one could see to the, like over the middle one and see the other one, right? Yep. And if you think about it, that makes people, that's gonna do what? That's gonna make people die faster. That's why you get the fucking gulags, right? Say you die in 30 seconds and then you have to wait out the entire round one gulag. It's because they don't want people to die quickly. Yep. And what is what does that do? That creates a positive gaming experience for the absolute fat dads and lads. <laughs> well, you know? they, they they did that intentionally <laughs> with the zone timers too. Yep. If you actually look at zone per zone, they added like almost five minutes to the zones in the first half of the game that essentially make it so that if you're dying to the gas in the first zones, you're basically just suck at the game horribly more than you yeah. already did. Yeah. Or like they give those people the opportunity to take like an extra two minutes to loot. Whereas yeah. that's all they're doing anyways. They're just looting. I think it's and the same reason. That just added five minutes on to the game. I think it's the same reason why they added AI. There's a reason why when you pull up your score scoreboard, you have operator kills and AI kills. And so it's all of those engagements that everyone's getting and everyone, you may not kill an operator, but you can kill those AIs. And it's like, yep. it's, it's giving everyone that warm fuzzy of like, you made it to the third circle you know, champ, funny. or like, look at all those AI kills you got. And it's like, like a battle royale is, is meant to be brutal. And like, we don't need our hands held. Like if we started with this, I would get it. I'm like, yeah, Call of Duty doesn't get battle royales. But now we're three years later and you're yeah. legitimately yeah. insulting your player base by saying, hey, <laughs> I know you've fostered all of these skills and learned how to play battle royales and engagements and, and built this relationship with your, your, with your trio or quad that you drop in with. But let me dumb it all down for you, champ. And it's the most uninspired gameplay that we have after three years, especially of the Caldera ramp of 
you know, we've already had that conversation. Like we were going you know, towards skill gap and creativity. Now it's just like doing us a know, pacifier. You can, tell, uh, you can tell your skill base by the visual bots. So you know how there's like the default like fucking helmet bot, and then there's the bandana bot, and then there's the fucking oh. face mask <laughs> bot, right? You so they have a pattern to visually like and i want you guys to try to notice this from now on right if you go to like, <laughs> if you go to like some crazy good warzone player right look at their look at the amount of bandana bots there is <laughs> no no i'm not i'm not even kidding you and then you go to like then you go to no no i'm i'm being dead Dude, I, I, I dead ass can never tell where you're trolling or not bro bro i'm being dead <laughs> bro this no, is, I, bro bro reading the patents that they have was actually what made me quit that's not even dude that's that's tip of the iceberg the 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 craziest one i read okay this is actually a fucking if you need me to go find it i fucking <laughs> will okay this is a, an actual patent okay oh, shit. so they can't do it yet but they have the legal patent to be able to pull your biometrics and adjust your skill based off shit like your heart rate. I'm not even kidding. I saw someone tweet out about that. Yeah, hey, I've hey, seen hey, some hey, wild hey. stuff. And that, hey, that's what? Hey, 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 that hey, already? Wait, because what? that was the whole Skylanders thing. That was the Skylanders yeah, thing, where they're able to adjust the, the hitbox of the target, how accurate they are. They can and for COD, it never needed, it never had a place because there weren't AI, like other than the campaign or zombies. Maybe you get more aggressive zombies if you're a good player. Now that there's AI in the game, there's like a precedent that it could be there where they make you more aggroed to AI versus no, but, somebody who's a bot. No, but I'm saying like, imagine a controller can register a heartbeat, your heartbeat. No right? way. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just, no, I mean, dude, it's probably gonna. I, I can see it coming someday. <laughs> But yeah. I, I, now I want someone to do that test. Dude, I want no, someone to go that, in with bro, like a 0. 0.2 bro, KD to a 2 KD and bro, see if bots accuracy or damage changes. Scary, dude. That, dude, there's another one where it will register your, the skill base of your party, right? And it will try to average out the difficulty. So if you make a new account, say it's your dad playing, no, I'm not. I'm not. Dude, stop fucking laughing, Hector. <laughs> Bro, I read this and I was like, ah, oh, 2v2s are chalked. 2v2s are fucking chalked. Okay. They have the. So, what they try to do, <laughs> this is actually a thing. So, if, if you're in a party of four, you're the best player in the party. Okay. Your skill, your invisible skill base is the highest. And then you get your cousin who's never played before, made a new account. Maybe, maybe he has played and he's just gotten obliterated okay it will try to average out the difficulty of each player getting a kill so it'll make it harder for the higher skilled player and it'll make it easier for the lower skilled player this is an actual pattern bro people were bitching about like you know matching players of high skills and shit right like i'm just sitting there like dude did you guys read the rest of the fucking Patent because there's 90 pages. There's 90, <laughs> 90 fucking pages. And yep. that's an actual, like, dude, what I read in there was terrifying. <laughs> you got, dude, well, even oh. Apex, they came out. I think it was Apex. They talked about their matchmaking that they had experimenting with matchmaking and their end goal, like the actual goal of their matchmaking was to make it so that people who got less than one kill got one kill. That was like the objective. That's okay. So regardless if you're good or not, you might not be impacted as much, but somebody who's low skilled will be in a position where maybe they have a better opportunity to get at least one kill. Not to get 10, to get one. Like well, it's for like those significantly outliers. better players. Yo. Well, I'm not sure exactly how it, but that's Bro. what the, that was their goal. Just like a lot of these uh D, these campaign D, games, you're obviously. A fucking idiot, um, I haven't D. been playing COD as much. I've been playing all these other single player games and nearly all of them have a setting that is like story mode and it's like you, you wouldn't even have to try to essentially play these games you could just literally walk through and in the game plays itself essentially it's it's kind of crazy that that's the target audience right these people that could not get a kill but they still want to play warzone
or whatever apex in that case i, I don't know man i still like i still have a hard time wrapping my head around like like all this is meant just so people can just it, like the people who suck can just feel a little fuzzy inside Bro, I, 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 that, like, like, that is their actual goal though it's, it's sad it's see sad. but that's i mean and that's old school me right it's the whole thing of like yeah when i got my ass kicked 10 years ago i would ask to be their friend so they could teach me right and now 10 years later it's you know, everyone's a cheater right like when i first started playing battle royales back in PUBG, like i sucked but I wasn't expecting to get a win. But if I got top 10, bro, my heart was pounding, right? Yeah, yeah, I knew yeah. as I made it farther and farther and got more kills, I'm seeing my growth as a player. And that was the reward to me, not spoon feeding me something. That, And I understand there needs to be SBMM and there needs to be like player protection. And honestly, with ranks coming, like I don't even care about the SBMM conversation or the VPN crap or any of that like tinfoil oh. hat theories. Like put me in the lobby with the best and let the rank decide the rest, right? Like, yeah. but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. Look, boys, we got, we game. got. <laughs> Crib's finding the fucking the patent, bro. bro. No, God. This, dude, this patent though is, you know, it's actually crazy. It's, it's. I think there's like three different ones. Yeah, the, the main no, one this, that that became popular deleted. for a while was the Skylanders one. There are other ones though. There's that other one which is based off microtransactions. If you don't buy microtransactions, you're more likely to match against players that do. Um, like those are at least patents. I believe that's how that one works. So that if you get shit on by somebody with this God tier bundle, you're like, oh shit, it was the bundle. I got to buy the bundle. I even got into a matchmaking with randoms and some guy got shit on on my team and in his death comms were like, oh shit, I got to get that bundle. He smoked me with it. <laughs> like, bro. So it's not like a mythical... Uh, there was a like, conspiracy theory that people were getting easier lobbies after they bought bundles yes. during TK. Yeah, and it was true. It was yes. true. Like, so, bro, bro, I promise you, I don't know who came up with that theory, but I remember <laughs> one time I was playing for like five hours, bro. And then I genuinely, I, I bought a bundle. I'm not even trolling for like five games straight. I got bot lobbies. And me and the boys were like, hey, who's buying a bundle today, boys? Like, yeah. who, who is that? <laughs> we, would do, we would dead ass do that. Yo, well, it's funny because I played with a lot of different uh, people. Penguin Club, Penguin and, Club, Huskers. Um, I would play, and they would hate that when I would play, because then they'd be like, "The matchmaking's harder," even though they're better players than I am. That like the SBMM would go crank because I literally buy nothing, not even with the free COD points they send. The only thing I ever buy is the battle pass. Like I buy nothing in the store. Year one, year two, <laughs> year three, nothing. Man so they're the like. People. Buy something. I'm like, no. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Diaz, Diaz just put in the chat. He said, I remember when Chris Buya and I won the Toronto tournament. We kept <laughs> buying shit every game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bro. Bro, I, 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 no bullshit. Hey, bring that back. All right, bring that back. I'll, <laughs> hey, hey, bring that back. I'll buy some more. <laughs> I mean, who's um, gonna find the new game though? Has anyone tested it for the new game? I'm gonna be honest, I haven't yeah. bought a nothing I, worth buying. I bought, no, like right. I bought like one thing. I bought like one thing. What are you thing. talking about? They got the the, the D, the can you skin. give Huskers the, the Discord D? Hey, you should have it though. my chat about that. What what's that about you can buy the nuke skin now instead of earning well, it? Yeah. Basically, they have a cool version of the nuke skin, which has already been leaked like two months ago. And basically it, it looks the same, but it has accents of red, like the little glow sticks, red. His little visor, there's some little red accents. His vest, little red D, accents. D, can you but give him the Discord the or D hop skin, in and drag him or something? But like, objectively, if uh, I would say it's cooler. Yeah, it it's is. a reactive but, one. Yeah. But what's crazy is the nuke skin is a remake of a skin from Modern Warfare 2019. So it's a recycled yep. skin three times. Bro, there he is. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, D, get in here, D, get in here. Ah, dude, Warzone 2 is dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 put on your Bro. camera, Husky. Put on your camera. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Wait, shit. Here we go. Of, here we go. You, you, remember, <laughs> you remember the days of, like, the old uh, Trainwreck Scuffed podcast where they would just go for hours and hours oh, and yeah. <laughs> Those were the days, bro. Oh, here we fucking go, bro. Oh, Huskers, what's up, man? How much? How do I... Do you have a... <laughs> By any chance, do you have a virtual camera on? Do you happen to have that on your OBS? Yeah, do you have that? Yeah, do I just click start virtual camera? Start virtual camera, then go to Discord, and then go to voice, uh, the settings button, then go to voice and video, and then change your camera to virtual camera. On your virtual camera, there's a cogwheel too. 
And what you want to do is you want to select source for your output type. And then your output selection is going to be your face cam. It just depends, though, if you have that version. It depends on what OBS version he has. Yeah, mine, I don't have to do that. But I just do the okay. camera and it pops up on both. But mine I think it depends. Whole Most people don't update their OBSs because, you know, Crashes, it leads to yeah. too many issues. <laughs> Right, that just goes. <laughs> That's it. He has Wait, the old the version. Said what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he leave? Oh, he left man. Discord. Where is he going? He's figuring it out. It's because he cl ended it instead of clicking the camera. Oh, oh, bro. He's on Caldera right now. I mean, boy. <laughs> dude, if we're playing Caldera, bro, we genuinely thought. Caldera was the worst game to ever come out. Yeah, like, hey, something's well, wrong. Caldera kind of was. When it first came out, oh, we dude. knew pretty instantaneously that it was bad. And that yeah. was the case of bad map, but good features. Yeah. And right now we have good map, bad, bad features. features. So well, I like, think Caldera got a really bad rap. It was doomed for failure unless we had all of the quality of life features at launch because everyone i mean i know we all have rose tinted glasses about verdansk but if you remember at the end of verdansk almost overwhelmingly everyone was like hey man this has been fun but i'm ready for some new shit like yeah. we are ready for a new map but then we got to that new map and we realized hey, shit all the things i hated about warzone verdansk you know instant ttk like zero recoil weapons and on top of that they forced world war ii weapons on us with vanguard royale uh, and the planes. Uh, his bastards were flying around in planes instead of like shooting on the. <laughs> that was you. Those guys. That was you. <laughs> no fuck was setting PRs on planes and shit, bro. Well, do, you guys, do you guys? Do you guys remember when it first came out? The guns wouldn't shoot straight. Like it would. What, what was it? It was like bloom. It had bloom. It had bloom. bloom. I remember yeah. that. Bloom. Yes, the guns had bloom at the start of the game, and it wasn't until everybody <laughs> bitched and complained and yelled, and we said, and they finally reverted the bloom. They took it off. I remember oh that first God, month. I forgot about that. And there was, was no bad. vegetation. There was, was no vegetation bad. on the map. Remember? No yeah. vegetation. It was no grass, no tree cover. It was like well, and all the trees are like super skinny. Yeah, and the map was like play doh. Like there was nothing on it. Do you remember that? I yeah. remember that. Yeah. I remember that, man. Oh my God! And then now, so and then going back, campus. going back on it now. Are we? Are we? Do you guys think? <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> what is Grim doing, bro? Hey, yo, he's looking yo, at the pattern okay, okay. and just getting more okay, pissed. First of all, first of all, <laughs> Drifter changed his thumbnail, so I only found the pattern because it was literally on Drifter's thumbnail. Like it was deleted <laughs> from all the Dexero sites and everything, right? But luckily, I'm not a dumbass. Okay. Oh Drifter's, my God. No, I downloaded it. <laughs> so I literally got that right now. I literally do. So so look. Hold on. Hold on. There's look. no way, bro. Look, this is Drifter's thumbnail on the video now. Uh where can I put this? Give me privileges so I, I can put it in the chat. Here. Put it in or, which one? Let me see. Or actually I'll put it in general. Okay, okay. But luckily I saved it. No way, he actually saved this shit. He actually did. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the Modern Warfare one. Yeah, that's, that's not the original thumbnail. Yeah, he got a lot of flack back in the day because of the Advanced Warfare. But then it came out to be like SBMM got crazy in Modern Warfare. I remember when the first person did that during the beta. Like they were, they were literally tanking their stats so they can get into an easy lobby, and it was just like, "Oh shit, that's how people are getting nukes." <laughs> like, yeah, so bro. Bad. Oh, let me see. I don't, what's this guy doing? What's this guy Husker's doing, bro? All right, dude. Um. Okay, so if I turn on virtual camera, yeah, and then I go full screen and uh -huh. I choose virtual camera oh. as the device in Discord, then you guys will only see my face. But my stream would only see just my face cam. I want my stream to be able yeah. to see all of you guys. So what you can do is um, just uh, mute your, your camera on your OBS and then just do a screen capture of the Discord. And then you could chop off the edges and it'll just show it. Your camera will be flipped in the Discord if you choose it, but it won't have that weird color effects when you add it. Yeah, no, I did have... Okay. But just... Like, what are you guys doing? Are you guys using two separate cameras? No, virtual camera. Virtual camera. No, no, no. no. We're, we're using virtual camera. Ah. All right, walk me through it again. Okay, so 
All right, Jay God, you should probably show him yours because you have the old version of of. Yeah. All so right. all I did is on on Discord, I just went down and turned on my camera, and that was it. And I just selected the source. Yeah, oh, I know what he did. I know what you did. Know what you did. Hold on. Now I'm paying attention, Huskers. You have to deactivate it. Like right click on yep. OBS, deactivate the camera. Do it. Yeah, and then do it. Yeah, on. and it'll pull up and and yeah. it'll be flipped, but chat will be able to see it. Yeah. Yo, by the way, um, second, look at general in here. Second file. That's your guys' next. Oh, you guys should like run that? through that. Oh shit! Hey, you're downloading this shit. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, 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 no, I downloaded hey. it. Cause I knew, dude, oh here's, here's the crazy part is that was not Drifter's thumbnail before. Like he literally changed it. Brother, this guy sent us a 50 page fucking legal oh document, God. bro. I'm you on finna a, get, dude, you finna get arrested, bro. We're all on a list. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Hey, hey, US patents. Oh my God. God, how many, how many Wait, is this, is this a patent for the SPMM? Yeah, I think it's a general patent it's for every, SBMM. It's, it's for everything. So it allows them to have the right to do those things, but it doesn't mean they're actively doing those things. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Wait, hold on. But here's the thing is every you can't see anything. So who the fuck knows? Yeah, you no way to know because some yeah. things are it would just be anecdotal. Like I feel this way, but without hard evidence and there's not really like controlled environments where you could test things under live conditions it just doesn't work yeah oh my god dude i'm not showing screen they're like show us show them like no i <laughs> i ain't catching well, those people can search it if you if you say what uh what thing it is if most people could search it all right i'll copy usually it. at the top it says what type of uh Cause patent it is because they'll stay searched, on record i just searched it <laughs> couldn't find it oh, Wait, so really? how did you get it you saved it on your pc well no, it was actually, <laughs> so I don't think Drifter changed his, I think it was actually this video, how I found it. Hold on. Look at this guy, Azo. <laughs> it, was, it was literally, he put the patent number on the thumbnail. That's how I yeah. found it. Wait, where yeah, are you yeah. showing this? Uh, check general. <laughs> oh, I actually had the patent. I guess he got... Yeah, in trouble so for I, yeah so oh wait hold on so literally i dude, it's dude, deleted from every dude, single dexter dude, dude, article dude it's a whole like, ass file d it's a whole ass like 20 page shit. Post, it's literally deleted <laughs> like every single link that goes to it is does not work it's fucking crazy and that's that's damn. the one they don't want you to see damn I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna open that. I know they have these files, and I thought you were trolling at first, bro. But when you were like, "Oh, they have all these patents and shit," but apparently not. No. There we go. Did it work? Yeah, Jeez, you're good. Christ, bro. Jesus. Wait, no, <laughs> did you just lick it in chat, Crib? Think what? Did you just? I'm a man of the people, Crib. <laughs> Crib, you can't lick that shit. What do you mean? Hey, it's a public patent. <laughs> It's a public pen. Oh, it's a public no. pen. Oh, Literally shit. Just, I just made it easy, but you guys got to do what I did to find it. Oh, bro. I love cream on God, bro. I was bro, bro, are we going to allow them to fucking adjust your hit rate based off your, your fucking rapidly beating heart? Fuck no, dude. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm morbidly obese, bro. Like, oh, fuck. that shit's not fair to me. <laughs> like, dude. That's oh, not fair. Cram, do you like lock your doors, set your alarm? Like, you good, bro? <laughs> oh, I have a claymore. <laughs> dude, Cram, you're OD as fuck. Oh, my God. Bro, y'all right. gotta, gotta read that shit for real now. I'm reading it. Some of this shit's crazy. Dude, I gotta find the one part. Yeah, they repeat themselves a bunch of times throughout it, so they're very clear too. But yep. some of the charts you can <laughs> read in it. Very yeah, clear. very clear. Oh my god! All right, all right, Huskers, what's up, man? You want it in on the podcast? What are your thoughts, bro? <laughs> Somebody said, "Show us the okay. claymore." Where do I start? Where do you Where do you want start me to start? Start with why you were on Caldera. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know. Some people were asking for it earlier, and 
I uh, got bored with Warzone 2 today, so I hopped on it. And actually, I had a lot of fun. First game on, dropped a 25 kill solo quads win. Second game, died early. Third game, dropped a 31 kill solo quads win. And the, act the 31 kill solo quads win actually had a insane ending. So I'm going to put it on my YouTube. It'll probably be a oh, 1 out of 10. This guy just promoted that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it All right, probably so will. A lot of people are posting older content, and it's doing outperforming the current content. Yeah, yeah. that's what I've heard. So. Wait, with that, a few exceptions. There are people that are posting content right now that they're like getting pushed by the algorithm, but literally anyone else is like, it's it's better if they would just went back to Warzone One. Yeah. It's so nuts that you look at everybody on YouTube. I've heard it from you. I've heard it from uh, Joe. I've heard it from Lucky. I've heard it from everybody. Whenever they post Caldera content, one out of ten compared to their Warzone Two stuff. I which is I, and for some well, reason I'm opposite. I get I get ten out of ten if I post Caldera. Really? I've yeah, heard the complete opposite. a little bit different. I haven't. I don't know if I posted a Caldera video since Warzone Two, so I'll let you know how this one does in a few days. What are you gonna say, uh, fucking Hunter? Nothing. I, keep going. <laughs> I know Hunter was about to cook, bro. I already know I what you're about to say. I disagree. We'll just keep going. It's fine. <laughs> all right, all right, Huskers. What's your thoughts on? I know since we already talked about this, but I want to hear your opinion. What's your thoughts Wait. on the current state of uh? I thought it was just. <laughs> oh my god, it's just gonna crash again. Let me try to turn it off. I thought he was just fucking <laughs> smiling. <laughs> he just He's just like, dude, why does it do this, bro? I thought my fucker was just happy to see us on God. <laughs> god damn it, bro. Holy. Dude, this guy Huskers, man, holding back. Holding us back. Great right, chat. Can you hear so me? Funny. We can uh, still hear you. Hello? Hello? Yeah, we can still hear your ask. Wait, did that shit crash your whole stream? <laughs> Brother, I think that shit crashed this oh whole God. stream, bro. It actually- Bro, my whole PC no just crashed. <laughs> no oh shot. Oh my God. Hey, hey, real quick, during that, during that disconnect protection, uh, slash host Iceman Isaac. Oh shit, oh, oh my shit. Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> Did someone just Dude, lag out too? That's him. That's him. Uh, <laughs> Bro, how did this shit? How did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> no, they're so bad. They're on uh, team, bro. I right, right, so I, I got I got an interesting little little conversation to kick up here, right? Go ahead, go so ahead. a lot of people, you know, and and I really wanted to ask Huskers this because he's got a lot of reps, right? He he is he is more than just a you know quote unquote pandemic blow up streamer right and, and Krim, you might have some exposure to this and hunter you've been around longer than i have right what what is the impact and i've seen it as a viewer but i'm wondering from like a creator perspective what you think would happen what you think would happen if streamers left the game right so many people are like ah oh, you entitled streamers you don't know the casual base you all could leave and the game would be fine but i mean what happened to PUBG? what happened to h1z1 what you know like when PUBG's I see mass exodus from games, those games die. PUBG's way up. Is it actually? Well, it, 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 uh, yes. Now it is. It's had a resurgence. It definitely PUBG has had a resurgence. Uh, PUBG? Hard. Yeah. Yes. Well, mobile helped that out too, right? Um, here, I'll pull up the Steam charts right now. I know that game is still going crazy. Oh, yeah, shot. even Iron Switch to that. Even it's, Iron it's, Switch okay. to that. Okay, Wait, listen. Really? Listen, last yeah. 24 hours. He's just not streaming on, Warzone anymore. Listen, listen. Just on Steam last 24 hours, 400,000 people peak on Steam. I love that. Bro. That's yeah, like the biggest problem with that, though, it's, only a, it's, it's mainly a PC community. I know they brought it to Xbox, but I still feel like the, the PC community is what thrives on that game, right? Yeah, but 400,000 is pretty insane. Yeah, well, that's like Apex Asian is market, on there. Right? It's pretty crazy, too. Uh, yeah, it's, it's way popular outside the U.S. for sure. Yeah. Wow, I actually didn't didn't even know PUBG was that like. Oh, well, CS:GO just hit all time viewership records. Yeah, yeah. And, okay, oh, yeah, so and they're talking about a part two. Yeah, CS:GO too. Yeah. Huskers was saying he might switch to that full time. No shot. He might as well. He, he might as well. The viewership's yeah. gonna be there. Yeah, and he's already the established. He's already homeless with all the top dogs. Well, yep. okay, I do believe that creators do play a huge role. There's like history all the way to like the original Modern Warfare and Black Ops games. If you look at what like phase rain like phase adapt and like all, entirety yeah. phase clan back in the day or like even vanos 
and his crew, like KOR Speedy, they were like putting people on Call of Duty. And when you'd watch those guys play the game, you would be like, oh, I want to go in game and do that myself. Whether mm -hmm. it was trick shotting, ninja defusing, messing around with your friends, sniping. Like when you saw a creator doing that, you would be like, dude, I can do this in game myself and I want to do that. So I feel like streamers do play a role in that. Well, yeah, and this I, is purely I, an asking right. I'm not I'm not saying anything. The game will like obviously with someone my size be perfectly fine without me. Right. But when I talk about like mass exoduses, I, I I'm trying to think of like examples. It'd be volume. It'd be volume. But I think it's happened more the other way around too, because they had Among Us where that literally was already on Steam. Its active player base was like essentially nothing. And then all of a sudden a couple streamers that are pretty well known mm -hmm. played it and then it was like woof to the moon and everyone played it they came out with all these microtransactions it's on console like it blew up as a result of creators that's an example right there right. where the game would have never saw light regardless if it was a good game so yeah, you guys know. think this th yeah that's yeah, yeah. back. okay you guys think that I, I personally i don't know i feel like we make up very little of the population i mean if you guys maybe i'm in the minority here but i feel like Streamers don't play that big of a deal to the game as a yeah. lot of people think. That's my opinion, though. I don't know. I, uh, that shit is. So, uh, are you gonna say what I'm gonna say? Well, uh, so how many people we influence? Yeah. So I'm gonna say. So obviously, the streamers make up an extremely small percentage of the actual player base. But something that devs and game or leadership from studios should recognize and keep in mind is that it's good it's healthy for the game to keep influencers happy because when influencers are speaking positively about a game to a huge amount of people it just makes exactly. it just it just makes things better for the game in general and the inverse is also true if if streamers are completely shitting on the game over and over and over it, le it just even more contributes to leaving a bad taste in people's mouths which is what happened with h1z1 the game that i played for many years like the game got to such a bad state and streamers were just constantly shitting on it that like there was literally nothing that could ever bring it back because the the, just, the whole name and the whole game the whole brand was just completely tainted forever uh and like i like i i i contributed to that too like i was part of the streamers that you know would constantly shit talk the game and you know i i partially regret that but like at the same time uh, there we there's nothing else we could do like if we didn't say anything at all nothing would have changed either so it's yeah. like so we had to attitude is literally contagious are you guys familiar with jinxie with rainbow six siege mm -mm. No. okay so there's this yes. creator named jinxies hilarious okay yeah it's this guy named jinxies he played he plays rainbow six siege on xbox he blew up from like december-ish january to february -ish. he like he's blown up blown up he plays rainbow six that game's going to like year eight year nine like he's blown up so hard that he went from no subscribers on Twitch to now he has over 40,000 just playing Siege. But they saw uh, an incline of players with his blow up growth. So, that him alone, you want to play. I yeah, rebought yeah. Rainbow Six because of him and I played it because of him. So, I think there's definitely proof of that, even if it's like one person. Dude, that can change the attitude. So, so Huskers, Dude, that guy will kill a guy in like an SD round, right? Hit the fucking scoreboard, go to his name. <laughs> Fucking, he, he literally is a mat like like memorized to the, the Xbox where, buttons. Where literally he does it in like five seconds, right? Where he'll literally send him a voice message <laughs> right after he kills him, and then continue playing the round. <laughs> like, bro, it's the funniest. Yeah, and it's competitive. Shit. It's not casual. He's doing it like in a competitive match. Like he'll kill him, message him, kill another person, message him mid game. It, dude, it's great. His whole personality <laughs> is them voice message. Yeah, and and so he plays on Xbox, and so on Xbox you can record your clips like anyone can record their xbox clip like you double tap the button x it records the last 30 seconds he'll sit there on stream and review his viewers clips and it's like the most hilarious thing ever and that alone inspires people to play the game yeah. and literally wanna... revived, revived rainbow six so, yeah, so did. uskers saying what you said right and hearing all this are we at that point right now like you, you didn't hear this because you lagged out but isaac was saying like you've been in the game for a while a lot of us kind of blew up quote unquote when when the uh, COVID happened right so are we at that point right now with warzone where you see people shitting on this game left and right or is it like are we gonna hit that point to where the point of no return and people are gonna have to switch games or you know what do you think what's your opinion on that 
Um, well, I mean, I blew up, I blew up during, uh, COVID alongside all of you guys too. I was, you know, I was only a hundred, 150 viewer Andy for the five years before that. But anyways, um, uh, I, I kind of do feel like we're at that point. I've, I've talked about this a lot on my stream, but I, I don't, like, I feel like Warzone 2's name is already tainted to the point where I don't think that anything they could do could really bring back a significant portion of players or viewers to the game. Uh, I think there are things maybe like ranked uh, coming out with season three that can maybe keep it kind of at a steady level, like kind of keep it as a plateau and, and not cause it to continue, you know, decreasing. Um, but in terms of like bringing it back to a point where like, creators can start growing again, like growing their socials and their stream. No, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any way anyone's stream is going to start growing again from Warzone 2. I think it's just a matter of making changes to uh, kind of keep us steady until the next big thing comes out, whether that's, you know, Warzone 3 or like, like a huge, or like a Blackout 2, or I don't know. I mean, I've, I've thought about this a lot and like I've like the last few weeks I've been thinking about like what I should do, uh, like what's in my stream's best interest. Like if I should try switching to CSGO 2 when that comes out, which that's also finals. That's not even going to be a, that's not even going to be a brand new game. I think it's mainly just going to be, it's like 95% going to be the same game, just ported mm -hmm. to the source two engine with like improved matchmaking and, you know, maybe slightly better graphics, but, um, you know, maybe even that small change might bring back the viewership to counter strike and, you know, maybe I'll, Finals, Huskers. Oh, dude, the finals? It's tough. It's dude, tough. I don't know. I haven't played it. Yeah, no, I don't know about the finals. Be cool. Really? Okay. okay, well then, uh, what's what's it fucking called? X Defiant, bro. You I heard a lot. actually <laughs> all love that, but that's not Warzone. Yeah, it's... At it's, least, I don't know. Uh, I, I've heard that, uh, from what I've seen, the finals has been doing pretty good on Twitch. From what I've seen, right? And I heard a lot of people say it's fun. Have y'all played it? Was it not good? Was right now there's a lot of issues with like audio where like there's a, like a lot of really bad static in your ear like the entire time it's just a bug like, no an audio, audio bug yeah, yeah it's an audio bug but i mean you're you're constantly yep. hearing it yep uh movement's kind of clunky it's I, I think there's a lot of potential for it like i'm 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 hearing promising things for a beta okay yeah i mean but it's just I, a I mean, beta but yeah i don't know, i think i will say that's probably warzone 2's greatest feature is uh its lack of competition um <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, in, in, in fairness, while I do agree with you, Husk, like, I don't want to discourage any creator, right? Because you can blow up when a game is heading downhill, right? You mentioned the Rainbow Six example. We saw Lucky, Lucky Chamu, his fuck, his channel went skybound on YouTube when Warzone was, was in its worst spot. So creators out there, keep making good content. Don't give up, right? You, you want to talk about somebody who blew up? Slater. And that's when yeah. in Warzone, when our shit's down bad. Slater, in, yeah, in, yeah. In, in, in no bullshit, I'm not even kidding, two months is about to hit one million on YouTube. From zero to a million on YouTube. But and it's not, even on, it's not even on shorts. It's not even mostly on shorts. He's still producing long form content that's getting 900K, 500K, 200K. Like, and it's transitioned over to, uh, you, I mean, uh, oh, what's it called? Twitch, Twitch as well. So oh. like, definitely I, I agree with what Husker says. I think if you're just planning on coming in, playing the game, doing 2v2 wagers or tournaments, yeah. You're not gonna grow. You're, you yeah, have to think I, I, above. I clarified. You have to go in, in general. I don't think there's really anyone's gonna be growing. But yeah, there, of course, there's gonna be those anomalies where people can maybe find ways to set them apart from, you know, most streamers or do something extremely unique. For sure. Bro, please tell me you guys saw this fucking leaked C CS:GO. <laughs> Dude, Dude, He's leaked and it's like on his yeah, monitor. I know. Right? <laughs> Bro. Hunter, what were you about to say? Yeah, Hunter, what were you gonna say? Uh, so the thing you're saying is right and wrong. So people can grow on a declining game, but sub count does not mean a singular thing. It's all about the video you're producing, right? You can have zero subscribers, and if you produce the best video ever, it'll blow up. It doesn't, like, sub count literally doesn't mean anything. It's all about the content. So, um, like you're talking about with Lucky, he has tons of videos exceeding his subscriber count. Subscriber count literally means nothing on YouTube because the way the YouTube algorithm algorithms design, it's they want to push out the best videos possible so people stay on their platform and they changed that system like years ago. So literally anyone, as long as you're just making a good video, you can have no subscribers. Your video can 
quite literally explode. And I'm a great example of that. I have 70 videos with over a million views and I don't have anywhere near a million subscribers yet. Like I'm still far away. So as long as you're making great videos, it's fine. And that's another thing that Call of Duty's lacking on is theater mode. Dude, Yeah. if we had theater mode, even though Warzone 2 is like, not great, theater mode would make everyone's content overall better that are yeah. actually trying because um, there's no traffic circulating, right? So everyone's overall views are going to be lower. Even if, you know, you have high viewed videos, they could be higher if there's traffic flowing. So like Mr. Beast, for example, he'll teach people how to do YouTube because it overall benefits him because there's still traffic going. So if, imagine we had theater mode where people were making great content overall. It'd be more views all around for everybody. Uh, Russian Badger is a great example. He just uploaded the Modern Warfare 2 video. When he uploaded his video, my video all the way from December got boosted 200k views in a week <laughs> because dude, he, dude, just dude, uploaded, dude, he just dude, uploaded he just uploaded a good dude. video Am I, are we, can we show that but <laughs> that's gta or something oh my god oh, yeah. oh my god bro don't do that to this me this is bro. like what they did with the uh, hogwarts bro where the dude was on the broom and he was just shooting this is the best video of dude. this year. This whole year. Dude, no, no, even Crimson showing this. <laughs> even this is a great example. It, why do not we? Why do we not have tools to do stuff like this? Like yeah, uh, yeah Hunter, GTA Five for is every, a top. everyone's content. Okay, like, okay. Even from like a coaching perspective. <laughs> okay, go with you for a theater <laughs> mode. Okay, so this is like Crimson's playing into the example. This guy is using theater mode and like custom abilities to make stuff, and I guarantee you. This is far more entertaining than anything's done with COD. In last week. <laughs> yo, but yo, Hunter, have you heard about the Fortnite? Like this, the sand, like they're going to be a sandbox. Like pretty much what you're talking about, Fortnite is yeah. about to do. Oh, look at Roblox. You're literally playing more. Uh, uh, like, Roblox looks more like Call of Duty than Call of Duty. Well, yeah, because no, if you take the top viewed video or top viewed games on YouTube, Fortnite, Minecraft, and GTA, what do they all have in common? A theater mode system, right? Besides the creativity, they have theater mode. <laughs> Graham just left. <laughs> dude, this guy just what decided. What dude, 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 dude. You're so... Hunter over here spitting facts. <laughs> no, he's playing into the facts. He's showing the proof. <laughs> oh, bro. Headshot. <laughs> oh, listen, man. Hey, bottom line, boys. Are we fucking chalked? Or no, I'm is this, fine. Is this revivable? Is this well, revival? What, when you say revival, what part? The game. The game itself. Oh. I mean, yeah. They not have so YouTube. Much money. No, no, not. They you have know. so much money. They can, they literally are like, they can control anything, right? They have so much money. Oh, man. So, I mean, <laughs> let, let's think about peak, peak Warzone. One, just the, just the advent of ranked, like, got a lot of people playing Modern Warfare 2. If you look at Modern Warfare 2, no one was watching that a month ago. Yeah. But they bring ranked in. Now, all of a sudden, there's all this positive sentiment. There's something to grind for. There's something you're working for. You can kind of look through some of the cheesy BS that pisses you off about it because you're going for the rank. Exactly. And so I think if we make a competitive rule set that makes it feel like, for the most part, I know I'm still playing an IW game, but like I got something to grind for. That's a good feeling. Yeah. But another thing that could bring this game back is tournaments. And I'm not talking these Mickey Mouse, like, you know, yeah. Papa John's coupon tournaments. The ones where you have to God pay. God bless them for, like, keeping the scene alive. Yeah. But, like... Big in, tournaments. Now let's like be blatantly clear. There's a reason there's not they're not doing big tournaments because that's Activision money. People that think like these these tournaments are for competitive, the best of the best. I saw someone complaining on Twitter like I don't understand why content creators get invited. I'm the best player. It's an ad. That's all these tournaments are. Is it's Activision money to push people to get excited about their game. Yeah. Yep. And so Verdansk, during the pandemic, and they saw that Huskers, when he's in the finals of a 2v2, has 25,000 concurrent viewers, and he's excited about the game, and he's cracked, and everyone's... <laughs> no, hey, no, hey, I'm come not on. Praying, you, know, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. everyone's excited about the game, and it's about the competition, and so they want to push more money into it. Yeah. Brother, it, we put 20K into a, into a DMZ tourney today, and everyone was slamming the game. If you were to have a 2v2 right now, you're putting out money for Aiden, Huskers, everyone, myself, to slam the game on a public platform. So they can't do tournaments until the game's in a playable spot. That's why we don't have tournaments is because it would be the worst hashtag ad ever because you'd be giving money to streamers to bitch about a bad game. That's Damn. why we don't have tournaments anymore. 
Fair point. Isaac's yeah. cooking right now. He's cooking. I just, I just assumed they weren't giving tourneys out because viewership was just down bad, but that probably has a huge factor too because the game just itself is in a terrible spot. No, so it also does. They don't want people to talk negatively <laughs> during <laughs> the tourneys. What? Wait, what? Takes, takes away from the CDL. Yup, that's, right. that's, that's a huge no, thing. That's a huge thing that nobody's bro. talking about. No, I promise you that's what Krim's saying. I'm going to speak on the subject, but Krim, you, you, you can... That's a big thing that nobody talks about that. Yeah, I mean, I would not really watch anything well, CDL it's... if I didn't get introduced to Battle Royale since Blackout. I had no interest in COD until they brought back Battle Royales. <coughs> Sorry, babe. Oh, geez. Um, you know, it's an interesting point, though. Do you think CDL pros would watch party Warzone tournaments? If we had good Fuck customs? No. I Fuck still don't no. think so. No, they they no. look down upon us. Like, they look down upon us. Series of Warzone, a 300k tourney. People are if tuned they, in. That if shit. they're oh, I don't playing, think anyone tuned in in the previous years. Honestly. I think the most interesting one was the 100k solo yellow one. That yeah. jump one. <laughs> because that half way. of yeah. them were from were CDL players too. They were playing in it. Yeah. 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 I mean. Fact. Well, I mean, we don't have a league, right? We don't have a. We're not playing no. a competitive game. Yeah, we understand we are content creators playing a semi-competitive format for the sake of advertising a game. Like we, we are not pros. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, there's like Warzone pros, but like we understand we're not pros. The, all the attorneys are invitationals. Yeah, that's yeah, a, that's how they call them. But like, if if you're so Activision, not why would you invite someone that only has? two viewers and i know that sucks I and mean, i'm glad we now have opportunities like two-day tournaments where there's qualifiers who can play against the big dogs i love that Wait, and now we have on. a good custom game system so we can get even more teams playing outside yeah. of just the 16 team 2v2 i think smaller people need an opportunity but there's a reason why they invite the big dogs <laughs> and it's because it's an ad uh, guys yes, well, someone, someone in here is a is a pro <laughs> okay, buddy. No, Dude, no, Hunter, you're a pro. Not Some, me. It's, somebody it's let's... actually you, Huskers. Look at your Twitter bio. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, okay, buddy. Buddy. Content creator. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pro gamer, bitch. Uh, bro, hold on, let me bring you know this up. <laughs> I'm about to bring hey, this up. Bro. I can put pro gamer. I was a pro in like four games. <laughs> You gotta write self-proclaimed in there somewhere, bro. Fucking flag on the play, brother. Fucking A, man. Oh, oh dude, boys. my memory's insane. I remember seeing that. I was like, immediately pulled it up, bro. When you said we're not pros here, I'm like, wait a second. I think I believe someone in here is. <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, totally. Look, he's changing it right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he's deleting it. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, boys. Oh, yeah, I think it's. I think we've been we've been at this for about two hours. I think it's about time we wrap it up a little bit, guys. Let me know any closing thoughts. Like, what's off everything we fucking just talked about? I know, Huskers. If you have something to say, let me know because I know you didn't get to say much. And obviously, I want to give you your time. Um, Anything anybody wants to say, ask away or fucking talk. I don't know if you guys already uh, said this, but imagine a scenario where they, for Warzone 1, they, they took Warzone 1 Caldera in its current state. They brought back Verdansk. They kept like the movement and mantling of the same, but they just got rid of slide canceling to appease like the mass casuals who hate slide canceling. They kind of... They added some things to Verdance, like maybe added a bunch of zip lines to the tall buildings, kept like the redeploying the gulag tokens, but just uh, nerfed the spawn rate so they're really rare. Because I think right now in Caldera, it's too com it's like too easy to get the redeploying <laughs> gulag tokens, but made those like really rare. I think in general those were great additions, but just kept a lot of those really good changes, and then maybe added like some redeploy balloons. And then also uh, nerfed like all the current meta guns in Caldera, <laughs> like the UGM, the Garenko. And then they buffed a ton of guns from the old CODs that were like never really meta, like the MWP90 or like the Black, Odin? the Cold War Grav or like the Odin. I feel honest, like everyone Chief, would love that. You, you You're making just too much sense. For like five minutes straight. <laughs> what? 
You, like <laughs> the amount of changes you like bro you don't got a nice take them 12 seasons bro. hell right there dude. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like maybe like four of those at most dude, oh, fuck. <laughs> name like fucking 10 different things dude i don't think they're gonna do that i mean I, we all hope we all wish i guess look I, we didn't ask huskers this but huskers right now <laughs> what what does the game need to get back i don't think we asked them that right it was just us four or five yeah, yeah. Husky. fourth on two yeah uh, i think a ranked I do it yeah well see the issue with rank though is that there's always the concern about cheaters so like do any of you guys have a solution for that besides because like they would they would have to have like an extremely improved anti-cheat i think like, like, really the anti-cheat in its current state would be a no-go yeah, well, I think time played could play play a factor. Like, time time does it, doesn't yeah. uh, Fortnite do that? Where like you have to be a certain level, rank Overwatch up. Overwatch does it. And, uh, yeah, and then after you hit a certain level or so many games played, then you can you're allowed to go into ranked but play. I don't even know if that's enough because even in ranked play, there's people iridescent that are walling. Yeah, people. Are <laughs> so, all so I mean, they got play. 70 wins, max rank, still walling. So or or even the. Something. Or people can just get accounts that already have like games played, mm -hmm. and like the huge yep. issue with Warzone ranked would be that there's going to be so many people because the the primary issue in ranked uh, multiplayer is is people blatantly like aimbotting, right? That's the, like the majority yeah. of them. Like, there's going to be so many people who are only using walls, so we yeah. have no Why way of knowing that they're cheating. Dude, here's a here's the easy way We're to fucked. fix the, the hacking issue. <laughs> no, I've already suggest, suggested this. Got turned down by the man himself. <laughs> Said, listen, this works, but people ain't going to like it. So, well, actually, we'd love it. That's where he's wrong. Um, you make a rank that's not achievable physically humanly it's only achievable via hacking okay you tell no one <laughs> you told me about this you, told me <laughs> you tell no one okay so like halo 2 like pre-patch it was like anything above like a 44 through 50 it was it was like ogre 2 like teaming up with his entire final boss stk roster right like only two of them or one of them was was a level 44 okay all four of them would only search with the best team in the world and and play right so anyone above those levels they know statistically and mathematically this is impossible no one should be here right unless they're the best and the absolute best in the world so anyone over those levels they just fucking insta ban them yeah but that, that, that's an esport I, I got bomb drones <laughs> no, no, but, but, but I'm saying you could still do this, right? And, and yeah. here's, here's the win-win, right? You get rid of cheaters, and then you create what ranked play desperately needs in every single fucking title, is you create an obsession. Like, literally, that's how you create someone to, like, play, 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 you know? Is by trying to achieve, like, you know, a distant goal, okay? And if they don't fucking know that you can't get it bro i look back at halo 2 like that was incredible i didn't know that like it all makes sense now and i thought it was amazing you know i was like a 38 out of 50 i was on top of the world you know and and that's that's a, the part where people no. are like what what isaac was talking about earlier right that reward you know right now like if you make an easy ranking set like right now I think the if rank didn't have the top 250, it would be dog shit. Yeah, no mm -hmm. one would give a fuck. No one would care because literally, oh, I sure. could probably go mouse and keyboard and probably get the highest rank. I could probably get iridescent. You know, and that's like, yeah. like that's the whole point, right? It's Something imagine, tangible. Yeah, exactly. Well, that like super high goal that people want to try to get. I agree with you. Know, you. Th like, like ranked is all about creating a feeling of like improvement, I like in reward for the improvement. So, I I think the best ranking systems in the world are ones where they don't like the the end goal in sight is not achievable. Like it's not or like, incredibly hard. Like or yeah or like yeah the re the most ridiculous amount of hard like like uncapped 
level systems are like the fucking coolest shit ever you know i think they imagine, just need imagine to... you had an elo system with no limit on the number like dota 2 yeah like dota fucking even i racing you know with the five people who play that game <laughs> right like like bro there's no limit what are you gonna say Isaac? Just says, uh, I, saw, I, I think says, if they bro. really want to make it a grind and really make it rewarding they need to make it brutal the higher your SR gets, the less you win per game. They're probably going to do like an apex system, right? Where you start off with a certain negative number. And then as you get higher placements and you get more kills, then you get positive SR. And that's yeah. when you climb up the SR leaderboard, right? But I think eventually it should get to the point where like, even if you get first place, if you don't get enough kills, you're still demoting or you're still going down in SR. That way it's like at the high, and I'm talking at the highest, 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 right? So that way it's not, Husker is grinding for 18 hours a day to try to hit number one. It's just he is consistent, high fragging, high placement. Well, it's, very, it's very, it's very easy. You just implement two layers, one based on skill and individual stats, one based off wins and losses. Yeah, yeah, and it's, you just yeah, make it yeah. brutal as you get to the top that you don't have people like someone just that one guy. What parasite just hit like 22,000 sr or something on rank like he's just grinding until his slums fall off like see see the crazy part is if you implement a dual level ranking system do it like double layer it right i could tell you what kind of player you are based off numbers now <laughs> like if i see a high, uh, high win loss right no kills mm -hmm. in quads right and no kills like you're playing for the win like you're gonna do the dirty work you know <laughs> and it's like the opposite like low low wins high fucking individual skill you, you don't give a fuck about anybody you know <laughs> and, and, so, <laughs> so, and, and and here's the thing right <laughs> it is the players that have high wins and high individual skill are going to stand out that's going to be rare you know yeah yeah it's actually not about it yeah but let's be honest let's be honest boys are they really going to put that much effort into Warzone ranked? I mean, if I was no. a dev, I'd be looking at it. Bro, look what Absolutely ranked not. just did for fucking for multiplayer. Bro, mm -hmm. that day, like, I'm not even going to like quadruple their viewership. Quadruple their probably well, players. Well, I will say like, part of that is a little bit uh, stat, like padded. Because, uh, like, for the longest pro players, uh, I don't know. Like, it just felt like a lot of them are streaming a lot more, too. Well, yeah, like now, literally they, they watch farting the CDL and then they go right into like an eight hour grind where you had uh, people like Draza, their top five or something like you got to put a shit ton of hours. So and people like selling him, he probably didn't stream for the past three years. You know, they're a grinding ranked and player and that helps the league, too, I think, where yeah. Yeah. then you can start to build attachments to certain players. And I think that's what did, you know, certain players, they've grown these audiences despite winning or not they are popular in the in the in the league it used to be really frowned upon by fan bases if a player in the league was Dreamed. streaming and losing right like they were not allowed to have fun outside of anything like i remember skunk got a lot of shit for streaming warzone and he didn't do well at a major until he stopped streaming yep he could, and now it now it makes a little more sense because now they're actually playing against other pros and now it's like they're rewarding it and they're building their content every everyone's winning yeah. yeah i still think like look at somebody who like wasn't at, like a pro right look at look at look at a uh, uh what's a uh, parasite right like he goes like that's a person that you, you like you, i guess you can't use that argument that he literally grew his stream to like i don't even know what his numbers were before but i, I know he said something about like it's insane like times 15 or oh, something yeah. like and that is strictly just because rank came out and he's at the top of the leaderboard and now that man is able to you know, you know like possibly do this for a living whatever the yeah, case his right normal cod streams were significantly lower before right, right. yeah That's so pro, so it's like yeah. yeah so it's like it like yes guys i know he was a pro i'm just saying like right as of right now right so what i'm saying is like look at something like that something that how drastically his his stream just went absolutely nuts and his popularity grew it's like the ranked Play, played a huge factor of course we got seth and, and his podcast uh fucking zuma and his podcast bringing that viewership up but you can't deny that there's so many people with thousands and thousands of, of viewers now who at first didn't because now ranked is just popping so it's like are people going to put like are these devs going to see that as an opportunity to grow warzone 
Or, you know, where does their commitment lie? Are they going to do both? Which I hope they do both. Or are mm -hmm. they going to put all their effort into one thing? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So I, I just hope that in the long run, they try to ask the Warzone players for feedback who play this, you know, eight, 10 hours a day, right? I, I hope that, that, you know, they see that and they want to, they ask us for advice on how to make rank the best possible rank that it can be. Are they going to do that? Well, Treyarch's in control of it. Treyarch's in control of the rank system. Yeah, not in charge I feel of like that plays ladder. a huge... But doesn't that play a huge role, though? They're in charge so of multiplayer, right? they don't have the... Um, yeah, the guy who did the Halo 2 ranking system. So they don't have the full hammer or authority to change competitive into what would be a competitive balance thing. So, like I mentioned earlier... Trust me, there may or may not <laughs> be a ban system. It's just how much is IW going to let them off the leash? Yeah, that's I'm curious, what it really comes down to. Because I'm curious to see if they're going to get rid of like riot shield, shotguns, yeah. all that stuff. Because the solo yellow, that scump one, he was quite literally like the only person without a riot shield. Every single person had a riot shield on their back. It was crazy. Yeah. And then the other guy that won, I don't know his name, he had a shotgun yeah. stuns and a riot shield. Yeah. So I feel like if they don't rule those things out, dude, it's going to be, it's going to be a mess. Chow. Chow. Okay. Yeah, I feel like if That was those the things, first year. Yeah. Yeah, if they don't rule that out, that's going to be kind of insane. Because then every, like, when you get to the top, everyone's going to be using riot shield because they don't want to get shot in the back. Right. So I'm curious to see what they ban on that. Damn. I mean, that's, that's, that's the biggest question. Was yeah, at the end know. of the day, it's just how much do they care or are they willing to just kind of go mediocre stuff, baseline stuff just to get through the year because they know they're about to make another bag next year when they release all the OG <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 Modern guns. Modern Warfare 2-2? You know, Modern Warfare 2-2, two, two, but T-O-O -O type <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Voice, any, any last thoughts before we close this one out? Fix the game. <laughs> I agree. Give us movement back. Love it. Mode. If I suddenly drop dead, get rid of AIs. <laughs> get rid of AIs. <laughs> well, hopefully, we no get AIs a good update better. by season four. At least nerf them more. <laughs> hey, season three uh, cannot come sooner. Next week, we have season two reloaded. Let's see what they do. But, boys, every single one of y'all, I appreciate y'all coming out to the Pulse Check podcast. Thank you guys so much. We'll regroup soon to figure out what's next, bro.